on the Care Source Radio Network. From Learfield, this is Indiana Hoosier Basketball. Brought to you by Central Indiana Honda Dealers. Your Central Indiana Honda Dealers are proud supporters of IU Athletics. And by Green and Schultz Trial Lawyers, a winning team for victims of injury and loss. More at greenschultz.com. Now. From the Smithville Broadcast Center, this is Hoosier Pre-Game. Here's the voice of the Hoosiers, Don Fisher. From Branch McCracken Court of the Simon Scott Assembly Hall in the IU campus in Bloomington, this is Indiana University Basketball. This afternoon, the Hoosiers go after a fourth straight win to close the regular season on Senior Day, facing the Spartans of Michigan State University. Hello again, everybody. I'm Don Fisher, along with color analyst Eric Sewer, broadcast host John Herrick, and engineer Noah Champion. Indiana was spiraling toward the abyss 17 days ago, having lost four games in a row and eight of their last ten, plummeting IU near the bottom of the Big Ten standings that would have meant playing without a bye in the Big Ten tournament. But to the amazement of much of the Hoosier nation, Indiana's won their last three games, including two straight road triumphs with Wednesday's 70-58 victory at Minnesota, the latest. And the unforeseen surge has alleviated any fear of playing in the Big Ten tournament on Wednesday, and a win today with help from other outcomes could catapult the Hoosiers as high as the sixth seed in the conference tournament. Meantime, it's been a mercurial year for Michigan State, with the Spartans finally ending their own three-game losing streak with a win over Northwestern on Wednesday, 53-49. to That win pushed MSU's record to 18-12, and with just 10-9 and in league play after being one of the preseason favorites to challenge for the conference title. Well, Eric Soar, it's been a bumpy ride for just about every team in the league outside of Purdue, but you're looking for momentum at this time of year, and Indiana certainly has that heading into today's match. Well, I would agree with that. Uh, Indiana's gotten some really good play out of some of their key starters. I just think Trey Galloway has been spectacular for Indiana the last few ball games. Khalil Ware has really led the way at both ends. Uh, and the Hoosiers have all of a sudden got hot shooting the basketball. Mackenzie Ambaco has been a guy that has knocked down big shot after big shot. And I agree, at this point in the season, momentum is very important. And Indiana has an opportunity here to go into the Big Ten tournament, not only with momentum, but a chance to improve their seeding here. If Indiana wins this ball game this afternoon and a couple other things happen, Indiana could be as high as a sixth seed going into the Big Ten tournament, which would be very good for the Hoosiers when it comes to their placement in the bracket, a chance to continue with that momentum and win some games in the Big Ten tournament. In fact, it could be the sixth seed, the seventh seed, the eighth seed, or the tenth seed. That's how it could play out depending on what other teams do today as well as Indiana. Exactly. So winning the game is priority number one. Don't worry about the seeds. you got to do your job first. And Indiana's job is to protect home court. And they're going up against a Michigan State team that is absolutely hungry for a victory on the road. The Spartans are a different type of situation. I, I think Michigan State still has an opportunity to make the NCAA tournament. But you talked about the importance of momentum here the last few weeks of the season. Michigan State has lost three out of their last four ball games. If they lose here this afternoon, that's four out of their last five with a ton of negative momentum heading into the Big Ten tournament. And one thing that the over the years, the NCAA Tournament Selection Committee tends to kind of look at is how did you how are you playing at the end of the year? So this is a big time game for Coach Tom Izzo and his Spartan Ball Club. They've got to win this game is that this afternoon just as bad as Indiana does. This should be a heck of a matchup here today. Yeah, it's it's a head to head scenario in regard to both of these teams and how they want to finish this regular season. No doubt about that. You pointed out that Indiana has been shooting the ball better. What's pretty incredible how well they've been shooting the ball at this point. The last three ball games all of which have been wins. They've hit 57% of their field goals, 47% of their three-point shots, and 74% from the free throw line. And there's so many different things that go into that, Don, but the one thing I have noticed that I think plays a part in the shooting is Indiana has changed what they're doing at the offensive end in the half court. Number one, they're playing faster. Number two, they're spreading the floor out and doing a lot of high ball screens with Trey Galloway and allowing Galloway to create 
against that ball screen defense, get inside the paint, kick out for others. We've seen multiple games where Trey's had double-digit assists here in the last week or two. Trey's been playing great. Uh, I can't remember the last time Indiana had multiple possessions where they threw the ball down to the low block. I mean, they're starting with the pick and roll. They're playing faster. I think the offense has looked much more fluid. Guys are catching the ball out in the three-point line with more um, flow, so to speak. Catch and shoot threes. It's not as stagnant. There's a lot more ball movement. Because of it, I think Indiana is shooting the basketball better. They're getting better shots in their half-court sets. And I, and I just really think passing is so important. And with Trey Galloway kind of being the point guard, even with Xavier Johnson back in the ballgame, I think Indiana has become a better passing team. They're getting better looks because the ball is being delivered at the right time, at the right moment, and in the right spot to be able to catch and shoot a three. Without doubt, they are getting terrific play out of uh, Khalil Ware. Obviously, Mbako has looked so much better here in the last 10 ball games of the season. And you've got Trey Galloway, who has really adapted, I think, to that point guard position. Yeah, I agree. And the one missing link here in the last couple of ball games has been Malik Renew, who really at one point in the season, you could say with a ton of confidence, Malik was the only guy playing at a high level for some point in the season. So imagine if Indiana can get all the pieces working together, right? And that's been the, the, the frustrating thing all season for this Indiana ball club. But I'll tell you, they're playing well right now. I mean, they are have gotten some impressive wins here the last few ball games. Uh, this would be another impressive win against a all those struggling Michigan State team. I think a very talented, well-coached Michigan State team. Uh, and as we just mentioned, uh, Indiana's got an opportunity on senior night to protect their home court, go into the Big Ten tournament with potentially a six seed and a ton of momentum and playing probably their best basketball of the season right now. Michigan State is a ball club that comes in with really good guards, but they're not big guards. And Tom uh, Izzo and I have talked uh, just previous to me getting up here to my spot today uh, about his ball club, and he... He likes his guard play, but they're not as big as normally you would see guards at Michigan State. Um, the Morris Petersons and guys like that. Um, what was the kid's name that was... Um, Mateen Cleaves? Uh, uh, well, he was a point guard. Right. But I'm talking about the bigger guards that they had over the years. But at any rate, long story short, they're just not the same kind of ball club that they've been in the past because they were always great rebounding teams. And this ball club here is not a great rebounding team. Now, they still hold their own rebounding the basketball, but they're not the big physical guys that you normally see for Michigan State. Well, I agree. And part of the reason that Michigan State has struggled this year is at time. I mean, you know, obviously the rebounds have been a bit different. But when they've struggled, it's been shooting the basketball. And how many times have you and I talked about the importance of guard play? Now, I think Tyson Walker is a guy, even though he's averaging 18 points per game, you know, at times has struggled. Struggled this year. Jaden Akins at times has struggled shooting the ball this year. They've just not gotten that consistency from the guard position. They've had moments, and that's why they've, they've got a chance to make the NCAA tournament uh, this year. But uh, yeah, the consistency has been a struggle for Michigan State, just like it has been for Indiana. And um, the Spartans have a chance here today to get a big victory. Uh, I think a win today puts them in a pretty decent spot to w make the NCAA tournament. A loss here today, they're losers of four out of five, and really a resume that, that would scream maybe the bubble burst here for the Spartans. So we'll see what happens here today, but this is a huge game for both teams. Well, that from that perspective alone, um, I don't think the Big Ten is going to take a whole bunch of teams this year. They're not going to get seven, eight, nine teams. It may get five maybe six. I would say if they get six teams, they're fortunate because the Big Ten as a conference this year has not been that good. No, I couldn't agree more. I, one of the things I said before the season started is, um, you know, Indiana's missing Trace Jackson Davis, missing a bunch of pieces, 10 new guys on the roster, but thank goodness the Big Ten is down. And that's what we said going into the season. And uh, that has played out. And Big Ten is not nearly as stacked as it's been in the past. I think there's two quality, really good teams in the league. Everybody else is just kind of okay. Uh, 
Uh, and Indiana has a chance right now to finish sixth in the Big Ten standings, which I would not have believed if you would have told me that <laughs> just two and a half weeks ago. But uh, Indiana's gone on a run here. They're playing well and a chance to uh, win a, a pretty uh, significant game here on senior night. Well, you're looking for a 10th win today in Big Ten Conference play for Indiana because you win, you've won bets already because of your prediction. <laughs> but you predicted Indiana at 10 and 10. I don't want to tell people that, that you didn't probably want them to know that, but I'm sorry I brought it up. <laughs> I've been doing this and watching this for a long time, and um, yeah, Indiana has a chance right now to finish at 10 and 10. As I mentioned, Don, uh, you know, beginning of the season with some of the expectations, probably not would, would have been considered a, a successful season. But uh, like I said, just two, three weeks ago, uh, I don't think anybody would have believed Indiana would go on this right. run and finish at 10 and 10. And uh, I'll tell you what, sixth in the league standings would be, you know, from where Indiana was, uh, you'd say, okay, well, at least they save face at the end of the season, pull things together, start playing some really good basketball. And that's the thing. I think Indiana's playing some really good basketball right now. You talk to a lot of people, they'd say too little, too late maybe because Indiana went on that string where they lost four straight but um, I'll tell you what there's worse things right now than playing with a, a ton of momentum a chance to uh, win today starts makes you feel pretty good about Indiana's prospects that are going on a run here in the Big Ten tournament well I think that's the big story right now is momentum heading into Big Ten tournament play you want to be on the right side of that momentum and Indiana, if they get a win today, will certainly be in that category with four straight victories. I agree. And uh, everyone except for Malik's playing well right now. And it's not because Malik's not shooting or scoring well. He's gotten in foul trouble. So right. if we can keep Malik Renew out of foul trouble, where Indiana's rolling at full strength, totally healthy, multiple guys playing with confidence, all of a sudden, boom, look at the roster. We've got guys that are playing well, talented kids, big kids, athletic kids that right now are shooting the basketball at a high level, protecting the rim at a high level, and a chance, I really do believe, Indiana wins this game, uh, puts the Big Ten on notice. Indiana's got a chance on going on a run here in the Big Ten tournament. If the curse doesn't affect them. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, it's only a matter of time before you talk about the Big Ten Tournament curse. But, yes, we have not won the Big Ten Tournament yet. Yes, we have not. Uh, but I'll tell you what, it's not easy to win the Big Ten Tournament. There's been a lot of teams that have struggled in the Big Ten Tournament. Uh, I would be pressed to tell you if Indiana wins here today going into the Big Ten Tournament, you know, aside from teams like Purdue, some of the real, you know, Illinois Purdue, you know, who's play, who's playing better than Indiana right now if Indiana wins this ball game, winners of four straight going to the Big Ten Tournament? Uh, Indiana, I think, has got a real chance uh, if they continue to play like we've seen the last few ball games. Well, we look forward to bringing you the play-by-play -play story. It will happen about one hour from now, and our pregame show today is brought to you by IU Credit Union, the official partner of IU Athletics. We started the credit union and created a community. It's Indiana and the Michigan State Spartans to wrap up the regular season here today at Simon Scott Assembly Hall. When we come back, John Herrick will join us for the Governor's Cup update. This is Indiana University Basketball on the CareSource Radio Network from Learfield. Visit Bloomington and South Central Indiana's Royal on the East Side today for a large selection of new and used Subaru, Volkswagen, and Audi vehicles. Their large and diverse selection of both new and used vehicles ensures that they have the vehicle for you, no matter what it is you're looking for. Stop in and visit them today. Conveniently located just across from College Mall on 3rd Street. Check out RoyalOnTheEastSide.com or call 812-332-3333. So why wait? Come test drive a new Audi, Subaru, Volkswagen, or one of their many other quality used cars, vans, trucks, or SUVs. Royal on the East Side is a proud sponsor of IU Athletics. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace! SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. What's your favorite part of the Chop Shop Market and Table on South Walnut and Bloomington?
This is a limited time offer, and it's your last chance to save big on a 2023 Ford F-150. Check out all the great truck month deals at buyfordnow.com, and then get over to your local Ford dealer today. This senior day and the final regular season game for the Indiana Hoosier men's basketball team as they get ready to play Michigan State coming up a little after 4.30 and now it's time to uh, take a look at the IU women's sports calendar. Well, the women's basketball team waiting to see where and when they'll play in the NCAA tournament following Friday night's loss to Michigan in the Big Ten tournament. The softball team is battling Oakland tomorrow at noon. The water polo team's having a great year. They're 17-3 and and they are at UC Davis on Thursday. The rowing team starts its spring break training trip today. The women's golf team has the Florida Sub. That'll take place March 15th through the 17th. The women's swimming and diving teams are sending nine swimmers in all five relays to the 2024 NCAA Swimming and Diving National Championships there and uh, a lot more to get to as we get further on in the spring from the uh, women's and men's sports calendar. The seniors that are going to be honored today, Xavier Johnson Anthony Leal, Trey Galloway, and Anthony Walker. Uh, those are the four men that have been up on the Jumbotron uh, all across Assembly Hall and, of course, uh, on social media. So those are the four men that we will be hearing from after the game is over, along with the head coach at Indiana University, Mike Woodson. When we come back, Smithville presents the Big Ten and Top 25 Basketball Report. This is Indiana University Basketball on the CareSource Radio Network from Learfield. Sharp Business Systems of Indiana is proud to be an official technology solutions provider of IU Sports Properties. SBS Indiana is best known for our great document solutions, such as copiers and printers. But here at SBS, we also offer a full line of professional audio-visual solutions, including touchscreen video boards with integrated speakers and microphones, complete with professional installation and service. This state-of-the-art technology... Bacon. It's cut a little thicker and smoked over natural hardwood for a hearty Hoosier flavor no other brand can match. One tip saying, my brand is Indiana. Find out more at Indiana Kitchen. Dot com. At CareSource, we get you. We get that you're working hard, but you still need to buy your own health insurance. We get that you want big benefits, small budget. That's why we've made our Marketplace health plans so easy to afford. In fact, four out of five Marketplace customers can get a plan for under 10 bucks per month with financial help. So get great benefits, get a great rate, and know that we'll always have your back. Cares. Don't be a hungry tailgater. Stop by your local Bloomington area Arby's anytime on game day for the crowd-pleasing Hoosh special. Four Arby's classic roast beef sandwiches for just 10 2019 What is 988? It's a way forward. It's a listening ear. It's whatever help you need, when you need it. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline offers trained crisis specialists. Ready to talk to you, 2488indiana.org. Not sure what's next after graduation? Did you know you can earn $20 an hour without having to give up your nights and weekends? Damar ABA Autism Services has open positions at locations across the greater Indianapolis area where you can find sustainable success without having to sacrifice your social life. Find a position in a rewarding field that doesn't require taking on the burden of massive college debt. Secure your future today at Damar.org. That's Damar.org. We are live from Simon Scott Assembly Hall this afternoon with Indiana and Michigan State about to duke it out in senior day for the Hoosiers. Tip-off coming up in roughly a half hour from now. Let's check the Big Ten and Top 25 Basketball Report, which is brought to you by Smithville. Smithville's your local choice for internet, voice, TV, and security. Stick with the home team. Visit smithville.com for more information. Smithville, an official sponsor of IU Athletics. Busy day in the Big Ten with lots of conference position and the standings on the line as 
John and Eric talked about earlier, and it was earlier today, Nebraska knocking off Michigan by a score of 85 to 70. Third-ranked Purdue took down Wisconsin 78 to 70. Going on right now, Ohio State and Rutgers, and Ohio State is 60 to 40 leaders. They lead Rutgers 60 to 40 with 613 to play in the second half of that one. And then coming up tonight, 12th ranked Illinois is at Iowa, the 7 o'clock tip at 7.30. Penn State hosts Maryland. And there was one Big Ten game on Saturday night. It was Northwestern hammering Minnesota by a score of 90 to 66. Uh, other top 25 games uh, from today, as a matter of fact, those are the only top 25 games uh, I mentioned. It's a big day for conference tournaments, though. The Missouri Valley Championship game being played right now with Indiana State battling Drake, and Drake's lead at one point was 15, but Indiana State has come back to cut that down to 5. It is 70-65 to 65 Drake with 6.07 to play in the second half of that one. Patriot League Championship semifinal, Colgate leads Bucknell 64-63 with just over a minute to play. Atlantic Sun Championship, Stetson leads Austin P 75-69 with about 4 minutes to go uh, in that one, UNC Wilmington in the CAA Championship quarterfinal has a 30-29 to lead on Towson uh, at the half there. Also at halftime, it's UTSA leading Temple 44-39. to Charleston beat Monmouth in the CAA Championship quarterfinal on the other side of the bracket, 83-59 to earlier today. In the Big South Championship, Longwood hammered UNC Asheville by a count of 85 to 59. Some Saturday top 25 scores in case you missed those. It was 16th ranked Alabama hammering Arkansas 92 to 88 rather in overtime and then 6th ranked Iowa State lost to Kansas State 65-58. 10th ranked Creighton edges Villanova 69-67. 17th ranked South Carolina was an overtime winner as well over Mississippi State 93 to 89. 24th ranked South Florida loses to Tulsa 76 to 70. How about number 1 Houston dominant 14th ranked Kansas 76 to 46 15th ranked Kentucky beats 4th ranked Tennessee 85 to 81 also on Saturday 8th ranked Marquette was an 86 to 80 winner over Xavier 11th ranked Baylor loses to Texas Tech at Texas Tech 78 to 68 big rivalry game here with 7th ranked North Carolina beating Duke at Duke Duke's ranked 9th by a score of 80 84 to 79. 13th ranked Auburn was against Georgia and Auburn took care of business 92 to 78. Second ranked UConn was on the road at Providence and UConn got it done on Saturday 74 to 60. 22nd ranked Utah State 87 to 85 they edged New Mexico. 20th ranked BYU a 14 point winner over Oklahoma State 85 71. Fifth ranked Arizona lost to USC 78 to 65. Some other top uh, college games that were not uh, ranked in the top 25. How about FAU, Dusty May's team, uh, beating Memphis 92 to 84 yesterday. In one of the Big South Championship semifinal games, Longwood defeated High Point by a score of 80 to 79 in overtime. In the SoCon Championship quarterfinal, Samford beat Mercer 72 57. Brown knocking off Yale in overtime 84 to 81. Sunbelt Championship quarterfinal from Saturday, Appalachian State defeated Georgia Southern 85 to 80. That was also an overtime game. My goodness, there were a lot of overtime games on Saturday. Monmouth all over Campbell 90 to 67. That was a CAA championship second round game. Northeast Conference Tournament semifinal from Saturday was Merrimack topping Lemoyne 61-51. St. John's beats Georgetown 86 to 78. So we got you caught up on everything that's been happening with conference tournaments and the top 25 teams from both Saturday and today. Up next, Don Fisher returns with Mike Woodson and the head coach's report brought to you by the IU Credit Union. This is Indiana University Basketball on the CareSource Radio Network from Learfield. 
The time to save is now. It's Ford Truck Month at your local Ford dealer. And right now, we're offering special deals on all remaining 2023 Ford F-150s in stock. That's right. Get great incentives on the best-selling trucks in America for 47 straight years. But you can't wait. This is a limited-time offer, and it's your last chance to save big on a 2023 Ford F-150. Check out all the great Truck Month deals at buyfordnow.com. And then get over to your local Ford dealer today. Hoosier fans, depend on Master Rental for all your rental equipment needs. Whether you're a contractor in need of an excavator or a homeowner doing a weekend deck project, Master Rental is the only place you need. They're your go-to resource for all your home and garden maintenance needs. With the largest, most current rental fleet in the area, including Bobcat, Echo, Xmark, Honda, and Simplicity, Master Rental is your full-service rental provider. Let us take care of you like we take care of Hoosier Village. Hoosier fans, Arrow Fish Incorporated has been making a difference across Indiana since 1985 as the premier provider of mechanical systems, including heating, air conditioning, plumbing, and process piping. Whether it's a large facility, business, or home, or if you want to work with a local company that is the best at what they do and supports the community, be sure to call HFI for your next project and see how they can make a difference for you. Hoosier fans, the IU basketball season is here, and so is an exclusive offer on Cooper Tires from Neil Tire and Auto Service. You just became an instant winner. Provide the code IUCOOP30 at any Neil Tire store to receive $30 off any set of four Cooper Tires, plus a free alignment check. Again, the code is IUCOOP30. That's IUCOOP30. This offer will expire January 31st, 2023. So stop by Neil Tire to take advantage of this special offer. And remember, Hoosier fans, nothing beats a Neil deal. In January, Milwaukee-based Cousin Subs will open their first Indiana location on the northeast side of Indianapolis at 9321 North Michigan Road. To celebrate, Cousins and Indiana University Athletics have teamed up to offer Hoosier basketball fans a chance to win two tickets to the March 10th home game and a shot at $100,000 in their half-court hall sweepstakes. Fans can enter daily now through March 2nd and find more info at iuhoosiers.com backslash Cousin Subs. Smithville is a proud sponsor of IU Athletics. That's why we know that protecting your business is like creating a basketball playbook. Choose the perfect starting lineup of security products optimized to fit the needs of your business. Play lockdown defense with access control and intrusion detection and have full court vision with video surveillance. Our smart security lets you monitor, control, and track what goes on in and around your business, all from an easy-to-use app. Visit smithville.com forward slash smart security for more information. Everybody, Don Fisher with the Head Coach's Report. We're sitting with Mike Woodson. It's brought to you by the IU Credit Union. We started a credit union and created a community. IU Credit Union, a proud partner of Indiana Athletics. Well, Mike, you get set for today to play the final regular season game of the season against Michigan State, a very good basketball team. Before we talk about any of that, though, I want to ask you about the senior class and the kids uh, that will be giving senior speeches today. Talk a little bit about that. Well, it's a special day for them. I mean, this is it. You know, they don't get a chance to circle back. Uh, you're talking about Anthony Walker and Xavier and, you know, Anthony Lill and Gallo. And uh, they got to get ready for the next phase of their lives. Uh, so it should be special. We got to go out and try to win a game for those guys. Coach, obviously, uh, you come up with a really nice performance again against uh, Minnesota this past week. Three straight wins uh, after a struggle for a while there. But these kids have responded, and you've got to be really pleased with that. Well, I'm, I'm happy as hell. I mean, they're, they are they are playing harder and, and doing the things that we expected them to do. And, uh, you know, when you go through something like what we did when you lose four games in a row, it's tough on these young men. But, you know, the only way up is to pick yourself up and, and, and get back going. And that's what we've done. And uh, uh, this will be a big game, a big test for us. Uh, Izzo's teams always play hard, and we always have close games with them. So uh, we got to come out and 
commit ourselves for 40 minutes because I'm sure they will and see what happens. Coach, one of the things I think that's been really a key for your ball club, I know you've done a number of things better in these last three ball games, but the shooting has been remarkable. 57% from the field, 47% from three-point range, and 74% from the free throw line, all areas that you really struggled with earlier. Well, we finally figured it out a little bit, that, and that helps. That's that's a winning combination when you mention those stat, that stat line. And, um, you know, we're going to get... Need to continue that when we go into the tournament play. Um, those numbers will keep you in ball games and give you an opportunity to win, and that's what it's going to take. Double double for where the last time out again, thirteen of those on the season. He's really helped this team. He's he's improved so much, man, from the time we started with him and, and where he is today. Along with the number, I mean, Malik is. You know, you can say he's in the running for player of the of the Big Ten. I mean, in terms of. Um, a guy who hadn't played, you know, he's he's probably made the biggest jump of any player in the in the Big Ten this season, and um, and then Mac is definitely in in the running for freshman of the year because he's improved tremendously too over the time and where we started with him and where we are today. So, um, you know, these guys they just got to continue to grow and work and see where it leads our ball club the rest of the season. Gallo also has been a, a dramatic improvement uh, through the year as a point guard. And, I'm, you know, that's not probably his position, but he's really adapted to it. Well, again, I mean, you guys say point guard. I just say a player. You know, I mean, he's a, he's a basketball player that has improved uh, in terms of us putting the ball in his hands and being, you know, a playmaker with the basketball. And uh, that's helped us tremendously because – of the fact that Xavier was out and that's not taking anything away from Gabe because Gabe has been good for our ball club as a young freshman uh, but now that we got X back that should relieve everybody you know in terms of ball handling and being able to make plays because Xavier is capable of doing that with, along with the two I just mentioned and, and uh, Gallo and uh, Gabe. Coach, talk a little bit about Michigan State. This is a ball club that's been a little mercurial this year compared to some seasons at Michigan State, but obviously they played some really good basketball too. They play hard. That's all you you need to know about their ball club. And Hogard and Walker and Hall are, you know, the three guys that's gotten it done for them uh, here in the Big Ten and throughout the season for Michigan State. So those are three guys we're going to have to really key in, key in on and uh, and do a good job on. Are they playing a little bit differently because they're using a three-guard lineup? Not really. I mean, Hall is getting a lot more touches now at the four spot, uh, out on the perimeter in the ISO position as well as posting him down low. So, you know, we really got to keep our eyes on that. That'll be a matchup that Malik has to deal with tonight. Keys to the ball game in your mind? He's rebounding the ball and getting back in transition. Those are the two. When we beat them here last year, we did a hell of a job in doing in uh, cover, making those coverages uh, complete, and uh, we're going to have to do it tonight because they they run on makes and misses. It doesn't matter, you know. They just push the basketball to, to see if they can gain an advantage, and we got to make sure we get back and get matched. Health of the team, we're good. Walker will play. All right, coach. Best of luck. All right, thank you. Mike Whitson, head coach's report. We'll be back with a scouting report brought to you by Hunter Bloomington Properties in a moment. This is IU Basketball on the Carasaurus Radio Network from Learfield. Have you been in? at work, contact Golitko and Daly, the Indiana Work Injury Lawyers at indianaworkers.com. There's nothing easy about work injury cases. At Golitko and Daly, we focus on work-related injury cases and have board-certified and OSHA-trained trial lawyers to help you with your case. Find us at indianaworkers.com. Golitko and Daly, your Indiana Work Injury Lawyers. At Golitko and Daly, we go to work when you can't. 
Not sure what's next after graduation? Did you know you can earn $20 an hour without having to give up your nights and weekends? Damar ABA Autism Services has open positions at locations across the greater Indianapolis area where you can find sustainable success without having to sacrifice your social life. Find a position in a rewarding field that doesn't require taking on the burden of massive college debt. Secure your future today at Damar.org. That's Damar.org. Indiana farmers, building new markets takes time and pays back dividends with long-term demand for your crops. High oleic soybean oil drives new demand for Indiana soybeans to domestic and international markets. Plus, it's a healthier oil more desirable to customers. Your checkoff is building this demand right here in Indiana. IU Athletics is proud to offer their foods prepared in heart-healthy high oleic soybean oil this season. Learn more about this oil at incornandsoy.org slash premiums. This message was funded by Indiana soybean farmers and their checkoff. Oh, you know that old injury of yours? The one in your knee or maybe back? Instead of going to the doctor and then doing physical therapy, why not start with therapy first? Athletico Physical Therapy is changing the whole healing process around. Their physical therapist will find the source of your pain and help fix it. Start with them and start living pain-free. Ah, just like that. It all starts with Athletico Physical Therapy. Schedule your free assessment at athletico.com. No prescription needed. Official sponsor of IU Athletics. Have you met Hoosier Hank? Not only is he the most interesting bison in the world and the biggest IU fan, but he's put together a menu that will keep you coming back for more. Hank's location specializes in pizza, smash burgers, wings, sandwiches, and much more. Check out our two locations, Hank's North, where we're open until 3 a.m. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Hank's East, where we have big TVs, a great bar, and a party room that holds up to 50. Go to HoosierHanks.com and enter code IU10 to get $10 off your purchase today. Unraveled Quilt Store in beautiful Spencer is the first choice of quilters and creators in central Indiana for nearly a decade. One of America's top quilt stores, Unraveled features over 3,000 bolts of fabric, plus patterns, sewing supplies, and inspiration, all in a bright and friendly atmosphere. New to sewing? We offer classes. Unraveled Quilt Store, located on Fletcher Avenue in Spencer or online at unraveledquiltstore.com. Welcome back once again to Simon Scott Assembly Hall, where Indiana will take on the Michigan State Spartans here this afternoon as Indiana comes into this ballgame 17-13, 9-10 in league play. The Spartans are 18-12 and 10-9 and in conference action so far this year. Tom Izzo is the dean of Big Ten coaches in his 29th season coaching Michigan State. We had a chance to talk to him before today's ball game in our Hunter Bloomington scouting report. Here is our conversation. Tom, obviously, kind of a mercurial year for your basketball team. Is that a nice word to use? Well, that's a nice word to use for you because you use bigger words than me. I'd use some that our old friend Bobby Knight would use, but that wouldn't be good on radio. You know, it's been a different year. Um, there's times we've played really well and, and pretty well, and there's times that we just haven't played as well, and yet we've been in almost every game. Um, things like free throw shooting, missed layups have cost us, you know. We've been pretty good defensively. We've been average offensively, and we're not at all like the rebounding team you're used to seeing uh, of Michigan State. And it's partially because of the size. You know, we don't have big wings, and uh, it's been different. But partially, i got to do a better job. <laughs> well, Coach, I know you're using a three-guard lineup, which is very unusual at Michigan State. Small, small three-guard lineup. Yeah, you know, like you know, the Morris Petersons and Richardsons and Valentines. Those guys were 6'6", were guards, but they'd play in the wing. You know, now we're not only, you know, 6'2", 5'11", 6'3", but the 6'3", you know, and Jaden, he's not physically real strong. So, yeah, it has been a little bit of a different uh, Michigan State team, but it's one that uh, we should have good guard play, and that's usually what you win in conferences or conference tournaments or NCAA tournaments, and uh, so I still have some hope. Um, are you playing a, a, a different style of basketball at Michigan State? It looks like it, but I'm tr I'm trying not to. You know, our running game is still important, um, but to run, you have to rebound well. You know, we've defended well enough, haven't rebounded clean rebounds well enough, and our, our running game, our point guard has been inconsistent on that. So, um, 
it probably it should look like it but I think we're still a team that has to defend rebound and run and that's been our motto for the whole time you just got to do a little bit of job of it and then lately the two kids Akins and, and Walker who have been shot the ball very well and Akins is a 40% three point shooter for his career and uh, Walker was off the charts last year in the first half of this year they've both gone through a little bit of a slump right now and uh if they can come out of it, we'd be a much better team. Walker, is is he the leader or is Hogarth? Well, Hogarth leads by voice, but Walker, I think, is the best player, you know. And uh, and that's the other thing. When your shot kind of struggles a little bit, for a small guy, he was my best defender also. And so I think, you know, him, us winning or losing today, I think it will depend on him a lot more. He's got to defend and he's got to rebound or uh, score it, you know, and the last game, the last couple of games, we've had some open shots we've just missed. And uh, you know who that is, and it sometimes happens. And you try not to, everybody says, well, what do you, do you try to make a big deal about it? I say, no, nah, would you please make a shot? Of course I make a big deal about it. That's the way it is. What about Indiana? I know you haven't seen them previous to this. Can you believe that we played four of the last five games against teams that we only played once this year and of course Indiana's the last one and the same for them but you know I think Ware is playing uh, much much better I mean it seemed like from halfway through the year he's really come on and uh, and Renew is uh, you know I think a very good player so inside they do a lot of damage and the about how do you say it then Mbako Mbako um, you know he's at times because everybody's up to put so much in there he's been shooting it better I think each week that I see him but I think Galloway has been a big difference in their team you know he's getting in the paint he's throwing lobs he's throwing those uh, we call them cross court passes you know um, so I, I do think they're playing their best basketball there's no question about that nice time to catch them when they're doing that but um, I do think they got some talent on the team you know and struggled early like all of us every one of us in this league except for maybe Purdue has had its moments some of them last a little longer but I do think this is a talent that I think those two inside guys could play anywhere is there a key in this ball game for Michigan State yeah I mean I think we can't give up those lob dunks to wear you know he, he, he makes a high percentage of those believe it or not and uh, that's a key and, and the same with Renew we can't we can't let those guys just dominate down there. We do have enough subs to go at them. And uh, Abaka, you know, I think he's a big key. If he's making shots, uh, that even takes their game to another level. We don't think we can turn the ball over. We'd like to get our running game going because we think we can hurt them in transition. That's just what we see on film. And uh, we'll see what happens. And that is Tom Izzo as we talk to him about this matchup with Indiana here this afternoon. Again, 29th season for Coach Izzo, the Dean of Big Ten Coaches. Our scouting report is always brought to you by Hunter Bloomington Properties. With scouting locations for your next apartment, make sure you check out what Hunter Bloomington Properties has to offer at HunterProperties.com. Hunter Bloomington Properties because you should love where you live. Coming up next, Eric Sewer rejoins us as we continue to preview today's game and we'll have the keys to the game of the IU Health Injury Report as well. This is IU Basketball on the Care Source Radio Network from Learfield. Our IU Basketball team puts on the candy stripe pants each game and represents Hoosier Nation with pride. Cintas can do the same for your company. Want your employees to look and feel their best? Want your facility to shine for customers? Then call the image experts at Cintas. Cintas has unique uniforms like their exclusive Carhartt Rental Workwear Program. But Cintas will also deliver floor mats and cleaning supplies and stock your restrooms. Heck, they'll even coach your team to get great results. Get your team ready for the workday with image solutions from Cintas. Get back to doing what you love. If you're experiencing hip or knee pain and it's affecting your everyday activities, it may be time to schedule a consultation with one of our highly skilled orthopedic surgeons. Our fellowship trained surgeons specialize in outpatient joint replacement. We may be able to get you home on the same day of your procedure. As the official health care and sports medicine provider of IU Athletics, IU Health will give you the expert care you need close to home. Call 812-333-BONE or visit iuhealth.org slash Bloomington Ortho. 
check out Honda certified pre-owned vehicles. They are like new and only available at your local Honda dealer. Checked, inspected, and reconditioned with genuine Honda parts by factory trained technicians. Honda certified it. And backed it with a 7 year 100,000 mile warranty. Certified pre-owned Hondas are in stock now at your local Honda dealer. Drive worry free with a 7 year 100,000 mile warranty. Honda certified it. Only when you buy at your local Honda dealer. Hoosier fans, the IU basketball season is here, and so is an exclusive offer on Cooper Tires from Neal Tire and Auto Service. You just became an instant winner. Provide the code IUCOOP30 at any Neal Tire store to receive $30 off any set of four Cooper Tires, plus a free alignment check. Again, the code is IUCOOP30. That's IUCOOP30. This offer will expire January 31st, 2023. So stop by Neal Tire to take advantage of this special offer. And remember, Hoosier fans, nothing beats a Neal deal. Folks ask, Salty Pete, what's the best part of being a pirate? Hello? It's all the buried treasure. I've been following this here treasure map all day. Time to dig. Oh, I went through a lesson. No Charlie was... Arr! Hey, that weird pirate guy just took out a power line. Blow me down. Literally. Contact Indiana 811 at least two working days before picking up a shovel. It's the only way to dig. Learn more at 811.safedigindiana.com. At Indiana University, we're undaunted by challenge. We take the lead. We don't follow the crowd. Embracing the future with creativity and bravery. Unapologetically optimistic. Equipped with the knowledge and intention to change the world. Because bold is who we are. Nine campuses, one purpose. Creating tomorrow, today. Indiana University. Bring on tomorrow. Join us at iu.edu. Welcome back to Simon Scott Assembly Hall, where Indiana gets ready to take on the Michigan State Spartans here this afternoon. Both of these ball clubs are vying to get a good position in the Big Ten tournament. And right now, Dee, you just got the message, but it looks like it's a very good possibility Indiana's going to be six, seven, or eight. Yeah, I think a win today, I think, puts Indiana in a better position when it comes to kind of where you fall in the brackets. Uh, I, I think in the Big Ten, uh, you've got Purdue and Illinois really are at the top right now, and I think the Purdue's one of the better teams in the country. <laughs> so if you can put yourself in a position where you can avoid playing the Boilers until later on in the Big Ten championship game, Big Ten tournament championship game, I, I think that does uh, some good things for you. So a win here today could get Indiana a uh, pretty good seed in the Big Ten tournament with an opportunity to continue this really hot play that we've seen the last few ball games. Uh, you know, we had our struggles midway through the Big Ten season, but Indiana's playing some really good basketball right now, and uh, hopefully they can continue playing well here today against a good Michigan State team. Well, without doubt, Michigan State is a ball club that's had their problems at this at times this year too. They're just ten and nine. If Indiana wins today, both will finish ten and ten in conference play. That gives you some indication of why the Spartans have struggled. Uh, no doubt about it. You heard Coach Tom Izzo just a minute ago talking about, you know, the inconsistency that he's gotten. And really, they've lost three out of their last four games. And, and he mentioned the struggles they've had. Tyson Walker, uh, some of the wing players shooting the basketball. Uh, A.J. Hogard, Aikens, Walker, all those guys. This is a guard-oriented offense in Michigan State. And when they're shooting the ball well from three, they are very tough to beat. They've had some inconsistent performances as of late, and they've struggled because of it. So Indiana's got to be great here this afternoon guarding that three-point line. I know we've said it before, Don. But college basketball today, uh, teams take threes. They're guard-oriented. Michigan State is no different. They're going to try to get some open looks in transition and in their half-court set shooting the basketball, and Indiana's got to be great defensively. Indiana should have an advantage inside today, though. Well, you heard Coach Izzo talk about keys to the game is the lob. Well, it's not just the lob. What he's meaning is how can they defend Indiana's pick-and-roll game? Because Indiana gets really good pick-and-roll action when they get Trey Galloway right in the middle of the paint. And then the big's got to make a decision. Does he take Galloway's floater away? Or does he take away the, the rolling Khalil Ware? 
Indiana gets a lot of lobs off their pick and roll. They also get a ton of lobs off the high-low action where he hit an elbow and then Malik Renu either takes the ball himself or if that defender takes away the elbow, it's a lob right over the top of the rim. Coach Izzo's talking about in Indiana's inside play. He's not just talking about if Indiana doesn't get any lobs today, we'll be fine. It, that is the key to stopping this Indiana offense. You've got to take away the lob, you've got to take away the rim, but it starts in the pick and roll action as of late. Indiana has been really good running their half-court sets, getting Trey Galloway the basketball right in the middle of the lane where he can either take it to him uh, for himself, lob it to Khalil Ware, or hit a guy like Mackenzie Mbako on the opposite wing. Uh, Indiana's action has been so good with Trey Galloway running the ball at the top of the point. One of the keys that Indiana has had in this three-game winning streak is how well they've shot the basketball. 57% in uh, from a field goal standpoint, three-point standpoint, three-point field goals, 47%. And then the, the free throw line, 74%. That's the best all year. Yeah, it's just so much more fluid at the offensive end right now. And... Uh, you know, you start playing in rhythm, in in the flow of the game, and you start getting some open shots because your half-court sets really kind of get you those open looks. You know, shooting is so much about confidence, and I think Indiana's confidence has started to skyrocket here. Guys are not thinking about it. They're shooting within the flow of the offense, and I really do think the change that Coach Woodson and his staff has made, they've gone away from the low block, and they've given the ball to Trey Galloway at the top of the paint, and he's been able to, to create off those pick and rolls. I think that's changed this Indiana offensive flow. The rhythm has changed. The shooting uh, opportunities have been better. And Indiana's guys have started to shoot with a little bit more confidence because it's just more of a flow. It's not as stagnant. And uh, that's why coaching matters. You start, you know, getting guys uh, in areas on the court where they can be successful. And more often times than not, they will be. And Mackenzie Mbaco has been spectacular. He's been playing with a ton of confidence. And for Indiana to continue to win like they have the last few ball games, he's got to be really good here. Without question, Indiana comes into this ball game on a win streak. They want to keep that momentum. It's hugely important going to the Big Ten tournament to have some momentum, I think, and especially in Indiana's case where they have had very few successful Big Ten tournaments. Uh, momentum is important. Rest is important. Uh, you, you'll get in a spot where you're playing in the Big Ten tournament, and if you're on day two or three, you might be playing against a team that, if you get a good enough seed, you know, that's already played a couple games in a row. And uh, that's why it's so important to play well here today to get yourself in a great spot when it comes to the standings. If Indiana can get the sixth seed, they play the night game on Thursday, which is pretty much an extra full day of rest for these guys. And uh, you're going to be uh, really winners of four straight with a ton of momentum and a pretty good seed compared to where we thought we'd be just a couple weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, Indiana is uh, playing well. I'm excited to see if they can continue playing with the type of confidence we've seen shooting the basketball here the last three games. Well, certainly Indiana comes into this one playing well at this juncture of the season, which is what you want at the end of the year. The question is, is it too little too late? And it certainly probably is in that regard to an NCAA tournament berth. But you get on a run of the Big Ten tournament, all of a sudden people start paying attention. And it gives you opportunities to get some pretty um, significant wins that, quite frankly, Indiana has not had this season. Right. Uh, so, um, you know, big opportunities against really good teams. Quad one wins have been really rare this season for Indiana. But the farther you go in the Big Ten tournament, all of a sudden your resume continues to build. Uh, I think right now general consensus is Indiana needs to win the Big Ten tournament. But uh, depending on the draw, who knows what happens and, and what type of opportunities present themselves when it comes to quality wins. It does not hurt that Indiana is playing well at the end of the season when there's a bunch of teams right now that have a little bit better resume that aren't playing with the type of confidence uh, that we've seen from Indiana here in the last three ball games. All right, it's time for the injury report brought to you by Indiana University Health, the official health care and sports medicine provider for IU Athletics. For access to the state's most highly skilled physicians, visit iuhealth.org slash Bloomington Ortho. In that regard, believe it or not, everybody is healthy today to play in this ball game. We thought Anthony Walker with a uh, looked like a hyperextended knee might be out of this one today, but he is back and ready to go according to Coach Woodson uh, in our pregame show here this afternoon. Our pregame, well, our keys to the ball game today, 
he obviously, there might be one or two, but what do you think is the most important? Well, Tom Izzo's a lot smarter than I am, and he talked about guarding Indiana's lob, or the, the pick and roll at the top of the key. So for Indiana, it's got to continue to get really good looks off of their sets, and the sets have been Trey Galloway at the top, set a ball screen, and let Galloway create. I think if Indiana can get great looks in their half-court sets here today, whether it's a lob or kick out to the wing, uh, that, that that's going to be in Indiana's favor for sure. they got a good chance to win the ballgame. Our pregame show presented by IU Credit Union, an official partner of IU Athletics. We started a credit union and created a community. We'll have the starting lineups in the opening tip in a moment. This is IU Basketball on the Carasaurus Radio Network from Learfield. Honda drivers. If you want to keep your Honda a Honda, only service your Honda with the experts at your local Honda dealer. They use genuine Honda parts and factory certified technicians to service all Hondas. Keeping your Honda a Honda. Don't trust your investment to anyone else. Only service with genuine Honda parts and factory certified technicians to make sure your Honda stays 100% Honda. When you need service for your Honda, search your local Honda dealer. Get back to doing what you love with the right support close to home. As the official health care and sports medicine provider of IU Athletics, IU Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine will help you get back to doing the things you love. Whether it's knee pain or a broken bone, you can schedule a consultation or visit our walk-in clinic for urgent needs. IU Health gives you more options for highly skilled care when, where, and how you need it, including right now. Call 812-333-BONE or visit iuhealth.org slash Bloomington Ortho. The first official craft beer of Indiana University Athletics is here. Hoosier Game Day Lager is a classically smooth and refreshing beer brewed by Upland Brewing Company right in the heart of Bloomington, Indiana. Brewed with Hoosier pride, every can of this Indiana classic features Indiana's iconic cream and crimson candy stripes. A taste of tradition right in your hands for the perfect addition to game day. You can find Hoosier Game Day Lager at any of Upland's eight family-friendly locations at Indiana Games and everywhere Upland beers are sold. As always, Upland reminds you to drink responsibly. Go Hoosiers! At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're good at insurance, but not just any insurance. We're good at fireworks don't go in the attic insurance, hole in window insurance, even guy that shouldn't have a chainsaw but has a chainsaw insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. SPG Roofing and Exteriors is proud to be a partner of IU Athletics. Whether it's a simple repair needed or you're looking into solar solutions for your home, with our combined 50 years of experience in the roofing industry, we can provide you with the quality workmanship you're looking for, along with the respect you deserve. Call us at 317-676-5756 or visit us at spgroof.com so we can get started on your project and schedule a contactless inspection to get an idea of the property and the project. We look forward to hearing from you soon and go Hoosiers! At Smithville, we think outside the locks. That's why we're offering a new innovative security system that does more than record footage. Gain 24-7 business awareness with intelligent video search and activity analytics like heat mapping and queue monitoring. Communicate with visitors and grant entry access from anywhere. Protect temperature-controlled assets with energy monitoring, all from an app. Visit smithville.com forward slash smart security for more information. On the Care Source Radio Network from Learfield, Hoosier Basketball is on the air. Brought to you by Smithville. At home and at work, Smithville is your local choice for internet, voice, and smart security solutions. Visit smithville.com for more information. And by Coors Light. Coors Light, made to chill. Official beer sponsor of Indiana Athletics. The tip is moments away. From the Smithville Broadcast Center, here's the voice of the Hoosiers, Don Fisher. And welcome back once again to Simon Scott Assembly Hall, where Indiana gets ready to take on the Spartans of Michigan State here this afternoon. Huge ball game for both of these ball clubs here today. Obviously, it's going to be important to come away with a victory this afternoon to head into the Big Ten tournament with the right frame of mind. So our starting lineups today brought to you by Green and Schultz Trial Lawyers, a winning team for victims of injury and loss. And here's how they will line up today for Michigan State. 
Tyson Walker at 6'1", 185, a graduate senior from Westbury, New York, is their leading scorer on this ball club with an 18-point scoring average at the point. Actually, he is the number, or he actually plays more off the off the ball than he does as a point guard. A.J. Hogard is actually the point guard. He's 6'4", 210, a senior out of Coatesville, Pennsylvania, averaging 10.9 a game. Jay Nakins is the third guard at 6'4", 190, a junior out of Farmington, Michigan, averages 10.5 a contest. Mauti Sissoko is the usual starter, but he will not start today. They are going to start a kid from Indianapolis. Xavier Booker, 6'11", 200. 25 freshman out of Cathedral High School in Indianapolis will get the start here today against Indiana in the post. He averages 3.8 points a ball game and about two rebounds per contest. Malik Hall will be the other starter. He is 6'8", 220, a graduate senior out of Aurora, Illinois. He averages almost 13 points a ball game. For Indiana, the Hoosiers will go as they have of late. And that will mean that Gabe Cups will stay in the starting lineup. The freshman is 6'2", 173, out of Dayton, Ohio, averaging 2.7 a contest. And the other guard will be Trey Galloway. He is 6'5". 203, a senior from Culver, Indiana, playing some tremendous basketball for Indiana here in the last part of the season. 10.8, his scoring average. Khalil Ware will be in the middle. He's 7 foot, 242, a sophomore of North Little Rock, Arkansas. He averages 15.7 a seat this season at the uh, from a scoring perspective. And his running mate, Malik Renew, 6'9", 233, a sophomore from Miami, Florida. He's averaging exactly the same in, in, on the season at 15.7 a ball game. He's from Mount Bird Academy. The other forward is Mackenzie Abaco. He's 6'8", 219, a freshman from Gladstone, New Jersey. He averages 12.1, but averaging a 16 a ball game in the last six ball games or so. He has really been playing well of late, knocking down the threes. Those are the starting fives for both of these basketball teams here this afternoon. And, of course, Indiana coming into this ball game with three straight victories. And Michigan State ended a three-game losing streak in their last matchup with Northwestern in a very low-scoring matchup that saw the Spartans win it by a 53-49 to count. Really a low-scoring ball game. Sintosh uniform report today has Indiana in their home white uniforms with crimson trim. And the Michigan State Spartans will be in their Kelly Green uniforms with white trim. Sintosh is the proud supplier of uniforms to Indiana University and businesses across the state of Indiana. Sintosh, the uniform people. A couple of things here today. The crowd here this afternoon is one that was in the mini package uh, that they sold this year because the students are gone on spring break. But we have a ter terrific crowd here today of fans. So many of these people have looked forward to an opportunity to see a game of this caliber against a Big Ten opponent. And they don't get many opportunities to do that. And so this place is just about packed here this afternoon. The other thing, and they had a moment of silence before today's ball game, Indiana football lost one of its great and legendary players this past week for the passing of John Eisenbarger. Eisenbarger was a two-time All-American and two-time All-Big Ten running back that helped the Hoosiers to just the second Big Ten championship for the school in 1967 and the last time the Hoosiers won a title and the program's only Rose Bowl appearance in 1968. John led that team in rushing and punting all three seasons that he played and was drafted and played with the NFL San Francisco 49ers. We send our condolences, thoughts, and prayers to the Eisenbarger family. The officials for today's ball game are Brian Dorsey, Ron Gruber, and Doug Sermon. Both uh, Sermons and Gruber have officiated an NCAA championship ball game. And I think, in fact, Gruber uh, officiated three of those. So we've got a good set of officials here this afternoon. Booker will jump it against Khalil Ware and the tip controlled by Khalil. Into the hands of Gabe Cups, the Malik down low, he comes inside, and Khalil Ware tried to catch the ball, was a little behind him, he threw a shot up at the glass, but it did not go, and Michigan State back the other way. Here is Tyson Walker outside, gives it off to Akins, who feeds it off to Walker, who fires up a three and rims it no good, and Khalil's got the rebound. He clears to Trey Galloway, and he'll bring it down. Galloway gets it to Gabe Cups, circles to the right side. 
Now, Cups takes it back to the left on the perimeter. Tyson Walker on him. They feed it back to Khalil Ware. Ware fires it right to Galloway. Down low to Malik Renew. One on one against Malik. Back outside, it comes to Galloway for a three. Bang! Knocks down the first three. And Indiana takes the early lead in this one. Bogart brings it back. Back the other way quickly for Michigan State. They feed it out front. Akins has got it. He is guarded by Mackenzie Mbaco. Akins, left side pass comes into the hands of Hogard. Hogard works against Galloway. Slides to the right, pitches it back to Booker, who lets go along with it. It's way off the mark, an air ball. Tipped in the air, out of bounds. It's going to belong to Michigan State. Uh, Booker can shoot the ball a little bit. So that was a really nice closeout from Khalil Ware who I think got a fingertip on that shot attempt. So nice defense from Khalil. Eight seconds here on the shot clock. Michigan State will have it on the side. Hall will inbound for the Spartans. And gets it in to Hogard. And A.J. Hogard on the dribble. Drives against uh, Trey Galloway. Pulls up. Fires up a little 12-footer that won't go. And the rebound collected by Ware. He feeds Gabe Cups, who gets it across the timeline. Slows things down. Cups out near midcourt. Works against Walker, takes it left to Galloway. Trey dribbles it out between the circles and fires it right side to Mbako for a jump shot from 15 and misses. And the rebound taken by Hogard, almost lost it out of bounds. Finally collects it, gets it across the timeline to Hull. They feed it left side to Akins on the left wing. Akins brings it back out to top. Akins looks, fires it right to Hogard. Hogard pitches it right back to Hull. He dribbles it to the left, hands it off to Akins for a three try. It's off the mark and the rebound to Galloway. Back comes Indiana. Galloway gets it to Cups. Lobs it in to Malik Renew. Renew turns on Malik Hall. No double team there. He'll back him into the lane. Throws up a hook shot. Misses it. Rebound tapped it into the hands. And Galloway steals it. Throws it over to Khalil Ware, who saves it from going out of bounds. Gives it to Mbako for a three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound thrown up the floor in a hurry to Booker, who lost the handle. And then it's touched last by Gabe Cops. He got a deflection out of bounds. Indiana's got to make sure defensively they are sprinting back in transition. That's, that is a staple of Tom Izzo's offense. Offense, running after makes or misses. Nice job from Gabe Cups making sure that he was the last man back. He was there defensively for the Hoosiers. Hogard in bounce to Malik Hall and Hall on the dribble out front. Guarded by Malik Renew. Here's a handoff to Tyson Walker. Drives into the lane. Knocked away by Galloway but pitched out to Hogard. He tries to penetrate. Can't do it. Throws it back outside. Walker's got it. Walker. Top of the key pass to Booker, who feeds it left side to Akins. Akins drives it to the lane, gives it back outside to Hall for a three, and he rims it no good, and McKenzie Mbako with a rebound. Dribbles it down the floor himself, gets it across the timeline, slows it now, drives it to the left side, pulls up for a three, and rims it. Oh, it went in! It rattled out of the rim, hit the backboard, and went down. And McKenzie Mbako's got his first points of the game, but it's now 6 nothing. Here's Hogar with the ball out between the circles. Fires it left side to Akins. Off it comes to Hall. Hall on the way. Drives on Malik Renew. Hall spins in the lane. Lost the handle. Throws it back outside. Now to Akins. Feeds it over to Hogar. Then Walker in the corner. Walker got it by Cups. Cups doing a nice job on it. Four on the shot clock. Hogar's going to have to force one up. He does, and he hit it. A.J. Hogard knocks in his first points, and we've got a 6-3 contest. Really good defense from Indiana there. Great contest by Galloway. Just a really tough shot by A.J. Hogard. Across the timeline, Cops with the basketball. Moves to the right, feeds it back left to Malik Renew. He drives out Hall, cut off by him, throws it out to Obako. McKenzie, left side, drives it into the lane, forces up a shot, and doesn't go, and the rebound tip. Khalil Ware comes up with it, throws it down, and he's fouled. Leo Ware gets his first two of the game, but will have a chance at a three-point play. Great job by Khalil getting his head right underneath the rim, being active, looking for the offensive rebounds. Looked like it slipped out of Booker's hands. Ware comes up with it, gets the and one. It's that type of plays that you have to have for 40 minutes if you hope to beat a, a Michigan State team that's really used to rebounding the ball and pushing it. If Indiana gets some offensive boards, they can put up some points quick. Ware goes to the line with a chance at a three-point play here. Fires it up there and rattles it no good. Off the back of the rim and now in the hands of Malik Hall. 8-3 Indiana. Here's Akins driving it quickly, but they get cut off. 
Indiana getting back in transition nicely thus far. Off it comes to Akins on the right wing. He throws it outside to Jackson Kohler, who checked in for Booker. Now off to Hogarth. Pitches to Dawson Tyson Walker. Walker takes it right side on a drive. Throws up a runner off the glass. No, and Ware comes up with another rebound. Off the cups. Down the floor to Malik Renew. Down inside. Malik works, fakes, fakes again. Puts it up and got it. And Malik Renew with his first two. Indiana out to a nice start here with a 10-3 score. Ball in the hands of Hogarth across the timeline. He feeds it off to Walker. Walker goes right side to Hall. Hall dribbles it back to the top. Clears it off to Akins. Drives it back right to Walker. Lost the ball. Gabe Cup steals it. Back off to Mackenzie Abaco. Down the floor to Galloway. He throws it up and scores. Galloway's got his fifth point and a timeout is called by Tom Izzo. 15-10 on the clock. Indiana 12. Michigan State 3. Back in a moment. This is IU Basketball on the Carasaurus Radio Network from Learfield. Jeff, I'm standing courtside where this team is about to celebrate a staggering win here in the fourth quarter. I just spoke with the team captain, who told me they owe it all to Kohl's, where fans found the license gear, game day hosting fines, and other essentials they needed to rally this team to victory. He said, quote, great brands, great prices. Discover it all at Kohl's and Kohl's.com. Back to you. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog, because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Hoosier fans, the IU basketball season is here, and so is an exclusive offer on Cooper Tires from Neal Tire and Auto Service. You just became an instant winner. Provide the code IUCOOP30 at any Neal Tire store to receive $30 off any set of four Cooper Tires, plus a free alignment check. Again, the code is IUCOOP30. That's IUCOOP30. This offer will expire January 31st, 2023. So stop by Neal Tire to take advantage of this special offer. And remember, Hoosier fans, nothing beats a Neal deal. Back here at Simon Scott Assembly Hall, just underway. Indiana 12, Michigan State 3, 15 minutes and 10 seconds on the clock here on the set for Indiana Honda Leader School Board in the first half. You're good at being you, and Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance is good at your insurance. Find an agent to help you or get a quote today at infb.com. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Well, defensively, Indiana is there on the catch. They're there with the contest, and they're coming away with the defensive rebounds. Michigan State has only started one of seven from the field, one of five from three, Don. And that three that they made was a full contest and right in the face as the shot clock's winding down. I don't remember a possession that Michigan State's had where they've gotten an open look. So Indiana in their half-court defense has started this game out the first five minutes of action as good as I've seen in a long time and now to a really hot start. 12-3 to three Hoosiers. Uh, both ends of the court right now, Indiana is competing at a high level. Well, today's game is sponsored by CareSource, individual and family health insurance, reimagining health insurance. Back out on the floor, the original five for IU. No substitutions yet. Jackson Kohler is on for Michigan State as he came into the ball game. And also Trey Holloman for the first time with Akins, Hall, and Tyson Walker. Nope. Nope, Walker's out of the ball game right now. This is Hogarth. Hogarth throws it back outside into the hands of Holloman. Holloman gives it to Hall. He circles to the right, drives on Malik Renew, spins into the lane, fires up a shot short, the rebound put up, and a nice play by Jaden Akins, who comes in for the rebound and gets his first two. 12-5, Indiana. Cops brings it up. Got it out there by Holloman. Gets it across the timeline. Whips it over to Trey Galloway on the left wing. He lobs it into Malik. Renew against Malik Hall. He'll back him down as he can. Here, double team comes, puts it up, misses the shot. Batted out. It's going to be picked up by Galloway. Indiana will get another opportunity. Eight on the shot clock. Galloway on the left wing. Dumps it into Khalil Ware. Works his way into the lane. Puts up a fadeaway shot and hits it. What a shot. 
by Khalil Ware for his fourth point. Back down the floor. They miss a shot. Down low, and Gabe Cups has got the board. Out left to, Gal to Galloway. Lost it, turns around, clears out the Cups. Not aware. Three-pointer on the way. Bingo! And Khalil Ware buries another one, and Indiana's on top, 17-5. to five. Now, Holloman gets it to Kohler down low. He tries to back in, can't do it. They get it to him again. Kohler again, trying to back in. Ware, Ware, he gets it up, misses the shot, batted out, but to Holloman, and Michigan State retains possession. They bounce it to Kohler again. Gets inside, throws it back outside. Nice defense by Khalil. Now Hogger, top of the lane, circles right, drives down low, blocked away out of bounds. And Ware doing a job at both ends. He really is. I mean, multiple times Michigan State's gotten the ball on two, three, five feet in the basket. It doesn't matter. Leo Ware's all over the rim. And you've got to, if, once you beat the first guy, you've got to try to finish over big seven foot one to Leo Ware. And early in this ball game, Michigan State has not been able to do so. They've missed easy ones. He's been there to distract him, to block the shot. He's been spectacular both ends. Holloman will inbound. He gets it down low to Hull, puts it up and misses, and the rebound tipped away, and Xavier Johnson, who just checked in, is on his way down the floor with the ball. X takes it to the right side. Walker is also in for IU with Malik on the bench. Over to Mackenzie and Baco for three, and he hits! And Baco now has his sixth point of the ball game. And Indiana's on a roll, 20-5 over Michigan State early. Outside pass from Holloman going to Akins. Gives it left side. Off to Walker, who's back in. Back outside to Akins. He kicks it right to Holloman. Back outside to, to Walker. Walker throws it out of bounds. It'll belong, however, to Michigan State. And Indiana's fortunate they got a, they didn't get a foul call there. No, I agree. But you, you're already seeing here the struggles that Tyson Walker has had this year. You heard Coach Tom Izzo before the game started in his pregame talk talking about the undersized backcourt. Well, Tyson Walker has really had trouble kind of once he gets past that first guy using it and trying to get past Indiana's size and physicality. He's just not been able to get anything close. Here's the pass into Holloman who gets it down to Kohler. Kohler top of the key, dribbles with the left hand, stops, gives it to Hall, fakes the three, then drives, tries to spin his way into the lane, gets away, fires up a fadeaway shot, and misses, and the rebound to Abaco. Mackenzie down the floor in a hurry. Takes it right side, pulls up, lost the handle, stolen away by Tyson Walker. Good defensive play by Walker that time. Quick hands, got him the ball, and Walker brings it across the timeline. Out to Hall on the right wing. He feeds it off to Akins, who takes it to the lane, back outside to Walker. Walker goes to Holloman. Holloman now tries to penetrate, then backs it back out. Holloman tries to drive inside, throws up a runner, and banks it in. And Trey Holloman's got his first two. 20-7, but Indiana on top by 13. 12 8 to go here in the first half. Xavier Johnson with the ball, slides it to the left, brings it back outside, slides to the top, throws it back left to Walker, Walker looks down low, now drives it into the lane, fires up a wild shot, won't go, rebound inside, knocked out of bounds, it'll belong to IU. And we have time out on the floor. 11.49 on the clock, and it's Indiana 20, Michigan State 7. We'll be back in a moment, this is IU Basketball, the CareSource Radio Network from Learfield. At CareSource, we get you. We get that you're working hard, but you still need to buy your own health insurance. We get that you want big benefits for a small budget. That's why we've made our Marketplace health plans so easy to afford. In fact, four out of five Marketplace customers can get a plan for under 10 bucks per month with financial help. So get great benefits, get a great rate, and know that we'll always have your back. CareSource, we got you. Enroll by January 15th at caresource.com slash marketplace. Get back in the game. As the official health care and sports medicine provider of IU Athletics, IU Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine Specialists are dedicated to caring for injured athletes. From the college superstar to the weekend warrior, we can tackle any injury and get you back in the game and back to the activities you love. Get expert care close to home. Call 812-333-BONE or visit iuhealth.org slash Bloomington Ortho. Union. Hey, who's your fans? IU Credit Union has a great lineup of IU Athletics MasterCard debit cards. Choose yours from a roster of six iconic IU designs and show everyone you're a Hoosier. Check them out at IUCU.org or visit any IU Credit Union branch. IU Credit Union is an official partner of IU Athletics. 
Simon Scott Assembly Hall, Indiana 20, Michigan State 7, 11.49 left on the clock here in this first half of play. It's a new season at Kohl's with everyday styles and great prices, and you can get more of what you want for less. Find go-tos for going everywhere and perfect picks for your home. Shop Kohl's at Kohl's.com today. Well, the confidence from the last three ball games has certainly transferred over to this afternoon. I mean, Indiana is playing with a ton of confidence right now. They're playing fast. They were all over the place at both ends of the court. But most, what's most impressive, I think, offensively is Indiana's ability, finally, to make the three ball. Four of five from downtown here to start the ball game. And uh, we mentioned it. It's been both ends. But the offense has, has picked up right where they left off the last few ball games. It was a really impressive performance at Minnesota, at Maryland, against Wisconsin at home. Now, all of a sudden, Indiana's stringing four games together here where they look completely different at the offensive end. It changes things down when you start making shots, and Indiana certainly is doing that here to start this ball game. Release the Blitz with the new cash Blitz scratch-offs from the Hoosier Lottery. They're packed with fun and top prizes up to $500. The Blitz starts at just $1. Play responsibly. Indiana's third straight Big Ten champion swimming team was introduced to the crowd here during that break. Anthony Leal will inbound for IU. Looks, finally gets it in to Xavier Johnson, who fakes, drives inside, throws it underneath, trying to get it to Anthony Walker, threw it out of bounds. It'll belong to Michigan State. So a turnover by Hoosiers, and Malik Hall will bounce it into Trey Holloman. He'll bring it up. Second turnover by Indiana. Across the timeline, Holloman with it. On the dribble between the circles, Leal on him. Holloman. Throws it left side into Walker's hands. Walker dumps it down low to Malik Hall. He tries to back in Walker. And back outside it comes to Holloman. They get it around the perimeter. New face in the ball game is Carson Cooper. He missed, or actually that is uh, Cohen Carr, who's in for the first time. Also in there is Cooper. And now Indiana with the basketball after the missed shot. 27 Indiana. Hoosiers off to a great start offensively. And defensively for that matter. Here is Mackenzie Ibako, gives it to Malik Renew. He drives inside, tried to get it up, but a foul is called. So he'll go to the line. The mismatch there. You get the ball to Malik Renew, isolated down low against Cooper. Cooper's got some size advantage, but Malik is so much quicker. And that was a very just simple sweep to the baseline. That quick first step beat Cooper, and Malik's able to get to the line. So Renew to the line with two points to his credit. Knocking in 70% of his shots in Big Ten play from the free throw stripe. 67% overall in the season. Spins the ball, fires up the first one, and knocks it down. Three points now for Malik. He'll have one more. Indiana leading 21-7. Leo comes over, has a conversation with Mike Woodson for a second. He bounces the ball back to Renew at the free throw line, and Malik with one more shot covered. Number two, also good. He's got four. 22, seven score. Indiana leading Michigan State here early. Holloman with the ball. Gets it over to Tyson Walker. Walker drives it to the right. Cut off by Leal. Throws it down to Malik Hall on the right wing. Hall backs it out. Struggling. Finally gets it over to Holloman. Holloman down left side to Carr. Back out it comes to Holloman. He goes right to Walker. Walker fakes, pulls up, throws it back in the corner to Holloman. Now gets it inside to the new face of the ball game, and he misses the shot. And that is Carson Cooper, and Indiana's got the rebound. Down the floor, Anthony Leal pulls up, bounces down low to Malik. Renew turns on Cooper, drives into the lane, forces a whoop, spins his way, hook shot no good, rebound Leal. Knocked away from him and stolen by Tyson Walker. Back the other way comes Michigan State. Now he gives it off the hall. Left side pass comes to Holloman. Holloman guarded by Leal. Drives it to the right, top of the key. Throws it back left to Carr. Back outside to Holloman for a three try. Way off the mark on the rebound of Malik Renu. He gets it to Xavier and Johnson brings it across the timeline for IU. Feeds it outside to Malik. Malik takes it to the right side. Down low he goes. Now trying to back 
scoop, throws it outside to McC- Mbako for a three. It's off the mark, and the rebound comes to Cooper for Michigan State. Back the other way, Holloman roars it down the floor, throws it back outside to Cooper, gives to Walker. He drives past, gets up a 15-footer, misses the shot. Mbako with a rebound. Back comes Indiana. Xavier Johnson drives it into the lane, right to the hole, and missed the layup. Came off the rim. Just couldn't get it down. He was going so fast, I don't think he could quite get it to go stop. And then there's a jump shot by Malik Hall, and they miss again. They are really cold. Really cold right now. Seven points, 11 minutes of action. And Coach Tom Izzo has got to be pulling his hair out down there. Mike Woodson wasn't very happy about something either. Here they bounce it inside. It's kicked. So Indiana will have it with 20 seconds on the shot clock. And 9.05 to go here in the half. Mike Woodson calling on Khalil Ware to get back in the ball game. Don, Michigan State is 3 of 20 from the field wow. to start this ball game. And, and when we talked about the contest from Indiana, defensively Indiana's been good. But now the last few possessions, Michigan State's missed some wide open 10 to 15 footers. Uh, confidence is a huge part of offense. And, and right now Michigan State is not playing with much of it. Hogard is back in. So is Akins. And they've also got Mauti Sissoko in there for the first time along with Booker back in the game. Here's Gabe Cups. He's in for Indiana. Off to Malik Renew. Renew. On the dribble. Has it deflected away, but into the hands of Anthony Lille. Back into Malik, who slams it home. Malik Renew with his sixth point of the ball game. Nice feed that time. And Indiana up 24-7. to Here is Hogarth driving it down inside. Fires it in the corner to Walker. Back outside, Walker drives to the baseline, throws it up and got it, and draws a foul on Gabe Cups, I believe. And now we got Leal and Sissoko had something going on there, and Anthony Leal talking both the officials about it. But whatever the case, it's Tyson Walker going to the line after getting his first field goal of the ball game. It's a really good one-on-one move by Tyson Walker. Gabe Cups did a nice job down taking away the middle, but Walker kind of went behind the back, back to the baseline, and got the and one. Walker is the key to this Michigan State offense and start this game one of four from the field. An early turnover. He has not played very well for the Spartans. Walker goes to the free throw line, hitting 73% of the season. Looking for his third point of the ball game, and he knocks it in. He's got his third point, and now Michigan State draws within 14. Back down the floor comes Indiana, Xavier Johnson. Across the timeline against Hogarth. X takes it to the right side, pulls up top of the key, then drives into the lane, throws it underneath, and another bad pass. Tried to get up in the air, tried to force it to where it didn't go, and Indiana turns it over for the third time, fourth time. Now, here is Walker. Slides to the right, on the wing, backs it out, throws it outside to Akins. He tries to drive. He gets it down low, fell, and that's a traveling violation. A good one-on-one defense that time. Anthony Leal taking away the middle penetration there. Gets a stop for Indiana. And again, Michigan State just not getting anything in transition. Indiana in the half-court sets defensively is there on every single catch. Really making things tough right now at Michigan State. Inbound comes to Gabe Cups. 8.03 to go in the half. Gabe Cups brings it across the timeline. Drives it to the right side. Pulls up. Throws it out to Malik Renew. Down into Khalil Ware. Turns around. Little jumper. Banks it in. And Khalil Ware with his ninth point. Everything going for Khalil again today. 26 to 10, Indiana by 16. I believe that's the biggest lead of the ball game. Now with it across the timeline, AJ Hogard will get it. Works it to the top. Slows things down, now drives it toward the right side, lobs it into Sissoko underneath the basket, puts it up and slams it home. And Sissoko gets his first two. 26 to 12. 7.23 left in the half. Xavier Johnson on the dribble. X with it. Takes it to the left side on the wing. Throws it out to Malik Renew. Renew, top of the lane, throws it right to Leo. Anthony, guarded by Akins, gets it into Khalil. Ware against Booker. Throws it back out to Leo. He'll fire up a three and rims it no good. Back out it comes in the hands of Tyson Walker. Brings it the other way quickly. Throws it out to Booker. Then left side to Akins. Akins tries to drive on Leo. Can't. Goes back out to Walker with a pass. 
Hogarth, not a Hogarth. He tries to drive his way inside, lost the handle, scramble for it, whistle blows, ball's kicked. And I think Indiana got the kick on it, so it'll belong to Michigan State. With 15 on the shot clock, when play resumes, or actually 20 on the shot clock, when play resumes, with 6.48 to go here in the first half. Indiana with a 26-12 lead over Michigan State. We're back in a moment. This is IU Basketball on the CareSource Radio Network from Learfield. IU basketball team puts on the candy stripe pants each game and represents Hoosier Nation with pride. Cintas can do the same for your company. Want your employees to look and feel their best? Want your facility to shine for customers? Then call the image experts at Cintas. Cintas has unique uniforms like their exclusive Carhartt rental workwear program. But Cintas will also deliver floor mats and cleaning supplies and stock your restrooms. Heck, they'll even coach your team to get great results. Get your team ready for the workday with image solutions from Cintas. Hoosier fans, don't be a hungry tailgater. Stop by your local Bloomington area Arby's anytime on game day for the crowd-pleasing Hoosier game day special. Four Arby's classic roast beef sandwiches for just 10 bucks. Available every IU football game day, home and away, at any Bloomington, Ellettsville, and Martinsville Arby's locations. Arby's, we have the meats. Supporting our Hoosiers since 2019. Frozen pipes? Flooded basement? For over 41 years, Hayes & Sons has been restoring water damage in Indiana homes and businesses. They'll help you navigate your insurance claim and get your life back on track. So when a water disaster strikes, tell your insurance agent you want Hayes & Sons for your restoration work. Visit HayesAndSons.com for more information. Simon Scott, Indiana right now in 26-12 leader over Michigan State with 6.48 to go here in this first half. Smithville connects Hoosiers at home and at work through internet voice and smart security solutions. Stick with the home team. Visit smithville.com for more information. Well, momentum, momentum, momentum. And I think it's so important that Indiana ends this half in the right way. I mean, we talked about how Indiana in the last three ball games has been playing well. They're playing well here today. The last thing that you want right now is to give Sparty some sort of spark going into the second half. So you got to continue to do some of the things that you've done. And really, it's been the defensive end that is controlled pretty much from the tip here today. And uh, Michigan State, I can't remember many wide open shots. I mean, Indiana has just been so good here this afternoon defensively. That has got to continue here the last six minutes, 48 seconds of this ball game. Cannot allow Coach Izzo and his team any type of hope going into the second half. And uh, 12 points, just under seven minutes left to go in the half. Michigan State has been really bad here at the offensive end here this afternoon. Craig Galloway has not been in for the last several minutes, and he is not on the bench right now. He was limping, it looked like, in the first half and maybe even in the pregame a little bit. And here's Tyson Walker who gets another jump shot to fall down. He's got his fifth point of the game. It's 26 to 14. But Galloway is not on the bench right now, and that means he's in the locker room someplace, maybe with trainer Tim Garrow. Right side pass comes to Mbaku, who fires a three that was long, and the rebound comes long to, uh, to Aiken for Michigan State. He just traveled. So Indiana will get it right back after the third Michigan State turnover. Tom is all upset with his players. Indiana will have the basketball out of bounds. Malik Renew will inbound to Xavier Johnson. X gets it, brings it across the timeline. Xavier goes to Malik Renew between the circles. He dribbles to the left, hands it off to Gabe Cups. Cups will let go of three and miss it. And the rebound taken by Mbako. He puts it up, puts it in. Mbako has his eighth point of the ball game. 28 to 14. Indiana has doubled the Michigan State Spartans on the scoreboard right now. Here's the pass to Walker. Walker uh, looked like he might have got away with a little slide there. He gets the uh, fakes the jump shot, puts up a little runner, and knocks it down. Walker gets his seventh point of the game, and he's gotten hot all of a sudden. He's the guy you don't want to get hot. Here is Mbako with it. Over to Malik Renew. Renew. 
Trying to get it into the lane. Turns around, spins, spins again. Having trouble, lost the ball, but it was deflected out of bounds, I think, by Sissoko. So Indiana will control with 15 on the shot clock. It could have been a foul that time on Sissoko. He's using his hands there on that initial defense as Malik tried going to the baseline. Sissoko's hands are all over. Man, that's just a hand check. No call, though, and uh, Indiana's got it underneath. Anthony Leo replaces Gabe Cups. The inbound to Mbako. Mbako fires it outside to Malik Renew. He gets it to X. Nine of the shot clock. Xavier drives it to the lane. Dumps it down low to Malik inside. Puts it up. Missed it. And they battle for it. Malik got it back. And he is fouled on the play. And they're going to call the foul on Sissoko. So, let's see. That's just the third team foul or fourth. Whatever the case, Indiana, I think, will take it out of bounds. I don't think it was in the act of shooting. And Mackenzie Mbako will trigger the inbound. Mbako looks. Khalil wears back in. They get down inside to Malik, then back out to Mackenzie. And Mbako drives it past to a screen, drives in the lane, kicks it out to Malik. Renew for a three try. He rims it no good, and the rebound comes to Hogger. Down the floor to Holloman, who's back in for Michigan State. Back into Holloman's hands to Hoggard once again. He tries to drive in the lane. He kicks outside to Malik Hall. He fires and misses. Rebound inside. Knocked away and Khalil Ware comes up with it. Down the floor to Malik Renew. Lays it up and got it. Malik Renew was way underneath the basket when he let it go. And somehow it got it into the, up into the net. And Indiana leads it 30-16. to 16. Crowd loved what they saw on Malik that time. Good fast break bucket by Indiana. Here is Hoggard with the ball for Michigan State. Drives to the right side. Down low. Lost the handle. Whistle blows. Foul is called. And this one will go against Anthony Leo. That will be his first. He's been on Malik, too. There's a ton of contact inside there. These are big, strong, physical, athletic bodies that are just absolutely going at each other right now. So impressed with Indiana's defense. Hoggard inbounds to Sissoko, who gives it to Hall. Left side pass to Hogard. Now he fires up a three and hits it. And Hogard's got his sixth point of the ball game, his second three. All of a sudden, they're starting to knock down shots. 30 to 19. Indiana's lead cut to 11. 4-14 to go in the half. Xavier Johnson across the timeline with the basketball. X on the dribble outside. Works to the right. And throws it over to Obako on the left wing. Mackenzie inside to Khalil Ware. Throws up a shot. Won't go. Malik with the rebound. Puts it back up. Rims out. Rebound Malik. Leroux, puts it back up again. And this time he gets fouled. And Indiana's front court is dominating right now, Don. Not just scoring. Rebounding the basketball. Indiana's offensive rebounds. Uh, it's been surprising. Michigan State is getting out tough right now underneath the basket. The Hoosiers have a 10 rebounding advantage here. 23 rebounds for Indiana compared to 30. 13 for Michigan State. 30 to 19. 3.55 left here in the first half. The Hoosiers on top. We're back in a moment. This is IU Basketball, the CareSource Radio Network from Learfield. This is Steve Webb with Electric Plus, a full-service electrical contractor powering Indiana with offices in Bloomington, Avon, Lafayette, and Kokomo. We work hard to deliver big wins for our customers. We lead the league in new construction, expansions, modernizations, and service repair. Our team excels at industrial, commercial, residential, and 24-7 emergency coverage. Just like the Hoosier desire to be the best, the mission of Electric Plus is to be the best electrical contractor, period. For more information, please visit electricplus.com and go Hoosiers! As a red-blooded IU fan, you know when something's homegrown, who's your authentic. That's why you'll love Indiana Kitchen Premium Pork Products. Indiana Kitchen's a real Indiana company that partners with its surrounding family farms to deliver the highest quality, best-tasting pork you can buy. Like Indiana Kitchen Bacon. It's cut a little thicker and smoked over natural hardwood for a hearty Hoosier flavor no other brand can match. One taste and you'll know why more people are saying, my brand is Indiana. Find out more at indianakitchen.com. Visit Bloomington and South Central Indiana's Royal on the East Side today for a large selection of new and used Subaru, Volkswagen, and Audi vehicles. Their large and diverse selection of both new and used vehicles ensures that they have the vehicle for you, no matter what it is you're looking for. Stop in and visit them today. Conveniently located just across from College Mall on 3rd Street. Check out RoyalOnTheEastSide.com or call 812-332-3333. So why wait? Come test drive a new Audi, Subaru, Volkswagen, or one of their many other quality used cars, vans, trucks, or SUVs. Royal on the East Side is a proud sponsor of IU Athletics. 
once again here at Simon Scott Assembly Hall. 3.55 left here in the first half. The Central Indiana Hotter near the scoreboard with the Hoosiers leading Michigan State 30 to 19. Have you heard of Mom Water? Refreshing fruit infused vodka water with zero carbonation, zero sugar, zero carbs, and only 90 calories. Mom Water is the perfect game day drink founded in Indiana and now a proud sponsor of IU Athletics. Please drink and enjoy responsibly. Well, rarely does a Tom Izzo coach team in Michigan State get out tough, out rebounded. But this afternoon, that's exactly what's happened. You look at Indiana's forwards, Khalil Ware, Malik Renu have absolutely dominated the paint. Each one of those guys had five rebounds, four rebounds. Mackenzie Mbako has gotten involved, rebounding the basketball. He's got five rebounds. Indiana is out-rebounding the Spartans 23-13, to and points in the paint has been huge for Indiana. 16 points right around the rim for the Hoosiers compared to only six points in the paint for Michigan State. Toughness stats will get it done more often times than not. And this afternoon, Indiana is dominating the tough stats. And here's the other aspect of it, too. Indiana has allowed Michigan State to get back in it a little bit. They had a 17-point lead, and with 8.50 left in the first half, they've allowed it to get down to an 11-point lead for the Hoosiers. So they got to start playing a little bit better and start shooting the ball a little better. They were well over 50% for quite a while, and now they're down to 41%. So they've gone a little bit cold here of late. Indiana's going to go back to the free throw line, however. Malik Renew will be standing at the stripe. Renew thus far with eight points. And he will have a couple of shots coming here. 3.55 left here with the first half of play. Indiana off to a really good start against this tough Spartan ball club. Free throw, good. Nine points now for Malik. He's got three for three at the free throw line thus far. Indiana's not been a good free throw shooting team, but this last three game win streak, 74% at the line, and Malik hits another one. He's four for four in the day with 10 points in the ball game, and Indiana's lead back up to 32-19, a 13-point advantage. Here's Walker and Hogard. Hogard takes it right, lobs it inside for Cooper. Cooper down low, lost the ball, and Malik Renew steals it, picks it up, and gives it to Khalil Ware. Nice job by the Hoosiers again. Good defense. Xavier Johnson across the timeline. X slows it down. Takes it to the right. Tries to get it. Throws it outside to Khalil Ware. Ware fires it in the corner. Bad pass stolen by Hogarth. And then lost out of bounds by Trey Holloman. So Indiana will get it back on the turnover. And sloppy play by both teams, but man, that's got to be frustrating if you're Michigan State. With all the trouble, the troubles they've had at the offensive end, you finally get a steal and, and some numbers going at the other end in transition, and the ball slips right out of Holloman's hands, and Indiana retains possession here. An opportunity here, if you're Indiana, make a basket, and you put Michigan State in a tough spot. Jackson Kohler is back in the game, replacing uh, Cooper, Carson Cooper. Here is Xavier Johnson, dribbles it out front, drives it to the left side, lobs it in the corner to Anthony Leal, who's back in, to Malik Renew, another bad pass stolen by Hall. Boy, Indiana really getting sloppy all of a sudden, and there is a trip by Malik Hall. He lost the ball out of bounds. I think he tripped over his own feet, and he's shaken up a little bit. Trey Galloway, who was shaken up for Indiana, went to the locker room for some time, but he's back on the bench now. And Hall, who apparently lost some footing out there, is tying his shoes. So I think he's going to be okay, and he will stay in. He is still in, grimacing a little bit as he runs back down the floor. Xavier Johnson with a basketball. Next gets it across the timeline, throws it out to Malik. Malik Renew takes it right wing, hands it off to Mbako. He fakes, pulls up, through another bad pass, stolen away again. Indiana's gotten sloppy all of a sudden. Here's Hogarth off to Tyson Walker, back outside to Holloman. Inside to Hall. Hall backs down Khalil Ware, banks it in on the hook shot. Malik Hall with a nice move for his first two. And we're right back to that 11-point lead. Here is Anthony Leal on the right wing for IU. Throws it back right to Malik. Renew, Renew. Trying to back his way in. And there's going to be an offensive foul call. And that'll be on Malik. That'll be his first. And three turnovers here the last minute and a half. And Michigan State, if they can get a basket here, they could turn this 17-point deficit just a few minutes ago all the way down here to single digits. Not been a very good last couple minutes here for Indiana at the offensive end. 
Here comes A.J. Hogard across the timeline. Hogard takes it to the left, back to the right. Pulls up, throws it out to Hall. Right back to Hogard. They get it to Walker now. He throws it low to Kohler. He tries to back down where? Back outside pass comes to Hogard. They get it in the corner to Holloman. He'll fire a three. It's no good. Tipped up by Khalil Ware. He got the rebound. Off to Malik Renew. Across the timeline, Renew with the ball. Left side, brings it outside with a pass to Xavier Johnson. X. Slides it to the right. Feeds it back to Malik Renew. Renew, a couple of dribbles, gives to Mackenzie Mbako. Mbako trying to work, fakes, then fires up a four shot and hit it. I think it's a two. He had his foot on the line, but Mackenzie Mbako just raises up and drills the shot. He's got ten. Now, here's Hogard outside with a pass. He dribbles it to the top, throws it right to Walker. Walker, back on the right side to Malik Hall. He drives it into the lane, forces up a shot, and it goes down. And he's fouled on the play. And if that's the second, let's see on who. And it's going to be on X this time. That'll be his first foul. Uh, Malik Hall's a difference maker for this Michigan State offense. When he plays well, they're tough to guard. And he's a big body. They can score on the low block, but what makes them different is his ability to play out on the perimeter and drive you to the basket. That was a great example of it right there. He's able to get fouled, get to the free throw line, a chance to complete the three-point play. Looking for his fifth point if he can knock down the free throw, and he does exactly that, and suddenly we've got a 10-point game. 34-24. Indiana still leading it with 1.23 to go in the half. Xavier Johnson will bring it up. Johnson gets it across the timeline, calls a quick timeout. And so Indiana calls time with a minute 18 to go here in the half and gives us a chance to say you can drive the road with and win with Honda and have fun off the court with most fun to drive vehicles. Search your local Honda dealer for the next new Honda today. Well, they are going to review that two-pointer by Mackenzie Mbako. It was really close, on. So during this timeout, it's possible that they change this score and give Indiana another point here if they deem that it was a three-point shot. But just another example of how much confidence Mackenzie's playing with right now. I mean, that's just a contested three but or two. Guy right in his face. He jab steps, shot fakes, jab steps, shot fakes. And it's just one-on-one -on -one basketball, and he rises up and makes a shot. I mean, we did not see that from anyone on Indiana's team several weeks ago. But right now, Indiana's playing like a team that is running on all cylinders right now, and it's full steam ahead offensively. But Mackenzie and Baco, again, 10 points, 4 of 9 from the field. He's knocked down a couple threes early in this ballgame for the Hoosiers. It's been the front line for Indiana scoring-wise. Each Renew and Mbako each have 10 and 9 for wear. So it's been the front line who's done much of the damage for the Hoosier ball club thus far. Galloway had 5 points when he was in there, but he's only been in there for what? Let's look here real quick. Only been in 7 minutes of this ballgame. So and he's still not back out there. They've got him. Uh, he's back on the bench, but he was limping a little bit, and he still looks like he's limping some. So I don't think, I think if they can get away with it, they'll not put him back on the floor. And it looks like they're going to call this a two-point shot from Mackenzie and Baco. And, uh, no, I, they're going to keep it a two, right? So it's going to stay a 10-point lead for the Hoosier right. 118 to go, and Baco will trigger the inbound pass here at Indiana's end of the floor, at the uh, Indiana end of the floor, with a minute 18 to go in the half. The inbound comes to Xavier, Johnson with it, on the dribble, takes it back out to the top of the key, throws it right to Mbako, inside of Khalil Ware, Ware, trying to work his way in against Kohler, does, turns, fires, and missed it, but he will draw the foul, and Kohler picks up the personal. So on Kohler, that will be his first of the ball game. And it will be Khalil Ware going to the stripe. He missed his only free throw attempt thus far in this ball game. And he has slowly gotten worse at the line as the season has progressed. 65% of the season, now 57% in Big Ten play. And he bangs that one off the back of the rim. And he will have one more coming, following the act of shooting. Looking for his 10th point. If he hits it, we'll have three players each with 10 each. Second one is up there, and this one rattles out. Can't get him down. Back up the floor comes Michigan State in a hurry. They get it to Walker for a three try. He hits. And Tyson Walker gets his 10th point of the ball game. He has gotten hot, and all of a sudden, it's a seven-point contest. 34-27, 50 seconds left in the half. Xavier, outside pass comes to Leal on the left wing. 
Leal holds on to it, gets it to Malik Renew. Back to Leal, top of the key, fires it off. It's deflected out of bounds by Holloman. And Indiana with 13 on the shot clock, 41 seconds to go in the half. Mbako will trigger the inbound. Michigan fighting their way back in this one after being down 17 here in the first half. Right now it's a seven-point ball game, so they've whittled 10 points off of that lead. Got two players out there jawed a little bit, Xavier Johnson and Trey Holloman. The official warns them. And here comes the inbound. It comes to X. Got it by Holloman. Drives it to the left, down into the lane, scoops it outside, and threw it away. X has got, I think, at least three turnovers himself. And they'll bring it back up the floor here as Gabe Cups will check back into the lineup for IU. 34-27 in Michigan State. Fighting their way back in this thing, and they've made it a ball game here with 34 seconds to go in the half. Bogard will bring it down the court. Gets it across the timeline. They're working a little clock here. About four or five seconds to, between the clocks at this point. Bogard still on the dribble out near midcourt. Drives to the right side, pulls up down low, forces up a runner, won't go, and it's put right back in by Malik Hall. Mahal with a beautiful rebound basket. Five seconds to go. Leo drives it right side, pulls up. He tries to get a shot off, doesn't go. Thought he was fouled, no call, and we're at halftime. And so, Indiana jumping out early on Michigan State, but the Hoosiers give up a 17-point lead. It's down to five at halftime. Light. Mount Cole Refreshment made to chill. Official beer sponsor of Indiana Athletics 2023 Coors Brewing Company. Golden Colorado celebrate responsibly. When we come back, John Herrick will present the Prairie Farms Halftime Show with statistics, interviews, and more. This is Indiana University Basketball, the CareSource Radio Network from Learfield. At CareSource, we get you. We get that you're working hard, but you still need to buy your own health insurance. We get that you want big benefits for a small budget. That's why we've made our Marketplace health plans so easy to afford. In fact, four out of five Marketplace customers can get a plan for under 10 bucks per month with financial help. So get great benefits, get a great rate, and know that we'll always have your back. CareSource, we got you. Enroll by January 15th at caresource.com slash marketplace. Check out Honda certified pre-owned vehicles. They are like new and only available at your local Honda dealer. Checked, inspected, and reconditioned with genuine Honda parts by factory trained technicians. Honda certified it. And backed it with a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Certified pre-owned Hondas are in stock now at your local Honda dealer. Drive worry-free with a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Honda certified it. Only when you buy at your local Honda dealer. Oh, you know that old injury of yours? The one in your knee or maybe back? Instead of going to the doctor and then doing physical therapy, why not start with therapy first? Athletico Physical Therapy is changing the whole healing process around. Their physical therapist will find the source of your pain and help fix it. Start with them and start living pain-free. Ah, just like that. It all starts with Athletico Physical Therapy. Schedule your free assessment at athletico.com. No prescription needed. Official sponsor of IU Athletics. All it takes is a second for dreams to shatter, for bright futures to go dark. Life changes in an instant when you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident. Green and Schultz trial lawyers have the strength and compassion to overcome tough legal challenges when you're faced with devastating injury or loss from a tragic vehicle accident. Green and Schultz trial lawyers, attorneys serving victims of injury and loss. More at greenschultz.com. Are you tired of sacrificing healthy eating for convenience? The Fresh Fork Meal Prep has you covered. With the Fresh Forks, chef-crafted, ready-to-enjoy meals, eating well is as easy as can be. Whether you're in Bloomington or beyond, choose to pick up your meals or have them shipped directly to your doorstep. Plus, for a limited time, enjoy 10% off your order with code Hoosier10. Visit thefreshforkonline.com today to explore our rotating menu and place your order. Remember, that's Hoosier10 for 10% off your ready-to-eat meals at thefreshforkonline.com. We're back with a report on a big new craze that is sweeping the nation. Boy bands are back in style? No. The Win Big Sweepstakes with Marathon Arco Rewards. Tell me more. 
Each time you fill up or buy items, you enter to win prizes like a new SUV, free gas for a year, and more. Those prizes are as good as the return of the boy bands. Except they won't leave you for a solo career. Marathon Arco Rewards win big sweepstakes. Sign up today on the Marathon Arco Rewards app online or at any participating station. Marathon. Driven together. Terms and conditions apply. On the CareSource Radio Network, from Learfield, Hoosier Basketball is on the air. Brought to you by Indiana University Health is proud to be the official health care and sports medicine provider of IU Athletics. And by Smithville, at home and at work, Smithville is your local choice for internet, voice, and smart security solutions. Visit smithville.com for more information. Now. From the Smithville Broadcast Center, this is Hoosier Halftime. Number three. And our halftime show is presented by Prairie Farms. Dedicated farmers, happy cows, real milk, drink local with Prairie Farms. I'm John Herrick, and your halftime score is Indiana 34, Michigan State 29. It's time to hear from the IU women's basketball play-by-play announcer, Austin Render, with a sponsored interview. Joined now by Steve Smitherman, the president of the Indiana market of today's game sponsor, CareSource. Steve, can you share with our listeners who may not be familiar with CareSource more about your company? Sure. CareSource is a nonprofit health plan that provides health insurance coverage on the health insurance marketplace exchange as well as to Hoosier HealthWise and Healthy Indiana plan recipients across the state of Indiana. What separates CareSource from other plans around the state of Indiana? Yeah, I think what really separates CareSource is, you know, obviously we offer the core health care coverage that all health care companies offer, but it's really the other things outside of health care that we focus on that separates us. Things such as our Job Connect program where we assist individuals in getting not only job but better jobs as well. Our focus on ensuring our our members have access to safe and affordable housing, reliable transportation. Um, We assist them with child care, clothing, whatever they need to really all those things that prevents them from focusing on their health care. We put a tremendous amount of emphasis on so that they can focus on their health care. If our listeners want to learn more about CareSource, where should they go? The best place to reach us is www.caresource.com. That was Steve Smitherman, president of the Indiana market of today's game sport. Sponsored care source. Thank you, Austin. Indiana leads Michigan State by five at the half. We'll have the first half statistics when we come back. This is Indiana University basketball on the Care Source Radio Network from Learfield. Whether you're cheering on the Hoosiers at Simon Scott Assembly Hall or simply want to experience the vibrant energy of IU Bloomington, there's no better place to stay than the Biddle Hotel inside the Indiana Memorial Union. Located in the heart of IU's campus, the Biddle Hotel provides first-rate amenities within this quintessential college town. For reservations, visit imu.indiana.edu. That's imu.indiana.edu. Stay at IU's hotel, the Biddle Hotel. When it comes to stuffed crust, here at Papa John's, we know our stuff. Because when you've hand-stuffed as many crusts as we have, you know you've become a stuffed legend. And now we're bringing you another epic flavor combination with the new Cheesy Calzone Epic Stuffed Crust Pizza. Made with a blend of mozzarella and garlic or ricotta, this pizza has your favorite calzone flavors stuffed right into Papa John's original crust. The new Cheesy Calzone Epic Stuffed Crust Pizza. Get a one-topping pizza for a limited time, only at Papa John's. IU Credit Union. Hey, who's your fans? IU Credit Union has a great lineup of IU Athletics MasterCard debit cards. Choose yours from a roster of six iconic IU designs and show everyone you're a Hoosier. Check them out at iucu.org or visit any IU Credit Union branch. IU Credit Union is an official partner of IU Athletics. We started at Credit Union and created a community. At CareSource, we get you. We get that you're working hard, but you still need to buy your own health insurance. We get that you want big benefits for a small budget. That's why we've made our Marketplace health plans so easy to afford. In fact, four out of five Marketplace customers can get a plan for under 10 bucks per month with financial help. So get great benefits, get a great rate, and know that we'll always have your back. CareSource, we got you. Enroll by January 15th at caresource.com slash marketplace. Thank you. 
This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the trustees of Indiana University. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Indiana on top of Michigan State, 34-29 at halftime. Hoosier shot 42% in that first half, 4 of 10 from 3, and 4 of 7 from the free throw line. Michigan State shot 38% from the field. They were 3 of 10 from 3 and 2 of 2 at the line. Tyson Walker leads Michigan State with 10 points. Malik Renew and Mackenzie Mbako each have 10 to lead Indiana. Those are the first half statistics brought to you by Indiana Kitchen Premium Pork Products. For the most authentic bacon, ham, and fresh pork, more people are saying my brand is Indiana. Get to know us at indianakitchen.com. We'll check the out-of-town scoreboard when we come back in two minutes. This is Indiana University Basketball on the Care Source Radio Network from Learfield. Folks ask, Salty Pete, what's the best part of being a pirate? Hello? It's all the buried treasure. I've been following this here treasure map all day. Time to dig. Oh, I went through a lesson no Charlie was... Arr! Hey, that weird pirate guy just took out a power line. Blow me down. Literally. Contact Indiana 811 at least two working days before picking up a shovel. It's the only way to dig. Learn more at 811.safedigindiana.com. At CareSource, we get you. We get that you're working hard, but you still need to buy your own health insurance. We get that you want big benefits for a small budget. That's why we've made our Marketplace health plans so easy to afford. In fact, four out of five Marketplace customers can get a plan for under 10 bucks per month with financial help. So get great benefits, get a great rate, and know that we'll always have your back. CareSource, we got you. Enroll by January 15th at caresource.com slash marketplace. Honda drivers, if you want to keep your Honda a Honda, only service your Honda with the experts at your local Honda dealer. They use genuine Honda parts and factory certified technicians to service all Hondas. Keeping your Honda a Honda. Don't trust your investment to anyone else. Only service with genuine Honda parts and factory certified technicians to make sure your Honda stays 100% Honda. When you need service for your Honda, search your local Honda dealer. Indiana farmers, building new markets takes time and pays back dividends with long-term demand for your crops. High oleic soybean oil drives new demand for Indiana soybeans to domestic and international markets. Plus, it's a healthier oil more desirable to customers. Your checkoff is building this demand right here in Indiana. IU Athletics is proud to offer their foods prepared in heart-healthy high oleic soybean oil this season. Learn more about this oil at incornandsoy.org slash premiums. This message was funded by Indiana soybean farmers and their checkoff. Back at Assembly Hall where Indiana leads Michigan State at the half, 34-29. to Let's check the out-of-town scoreboard presented by Coors Light. In the Big Ten today, Nebraska beat Michigan 85-70. Purdue topped Wisconsin 78-70. And Ohio State thrashed Rutgers 73-51. Still to come tonight, you've got 12th-ranked Illinois playing Iowa at Iowa at 7 o'clock. And Maryland is battling Penn State at Penn State. That is a 7-30 tip. Other Division I scores from today. It is Charleston hammering Monmouth 83-59. Colgate beat Bucknell 68-65 and Drake topped Indiana State 84-80 in the NBC tournament final. This out-of-town scoreboard presented by Coors Light. Mountain Cold refreshment made to chill. Official beer sponsor of Indiana Athletics. Celebrate responsibly. Don? All right, obviously Indiana leading at halftime 34-29 but they gave away a 17-point lead in the first half down to 5 at the break, and obviously, E, Indiana's got to start shooting the ball better because the last several minutes, they did not shoot it well. I agree. It started the game 4 or 5 from downtown, and they end the first half 4 of 10. And so, you got to shoot the ball well. You can't turn it over, uh, which was a huge problem to end that first half. Five turnovers in the last four minutes of action. And Michigan State goes on a big run, 8-0 run, to, to climb within five. I mean, this is not the type of way Indiana needed to end that first half. That's why uh, folks that watch basketball talk about momentum, because how many times have you seen it? You get a team that's off to a big lead, and then they let down for just a touch and allow the other team to climb right back into the ball game. And Indiana had an opportunity 
opportunity to really extend on that lead, but instead that letdown to close out the first half, which Michigan State right back in this ballgame. So we have more game, but no doubt about that. Michigan State, you knew, was going to come back a little bit, but Indiana allowed that to happen with those turnovers. That was a big factor in the first half of this ballgame. Our halftime show has been brought to you by Prairie Farms, dedicated farmers, happy cows, real milk, drink local with Prairie Farms. We'll return to the start of the second half in two minutes. This is IU Basketball on the Carousel's Radio Network from Blairfield. Life's certainties. Taxes. We'll take that. That's all I had left. Death. And Indianapolis traffic. Karen, where are you? Now you know, sitting on the northeast side, I'm never coming home. Do less sitting. I hate traffic. And do more living. A long-term ramp closure. That bear traffic. He's bound 465. Ramp will be closed through 2024. Mornings and afternoons. Lane restrictions on the northeast side. On 93 WIPC. In January, Milwaukee-based Cousin Subs will open their first Indiana location on the northeast side of Indianapolis at 9321 North Michigan Road. To celebrate, Cousins and Indiana University Athletics have teamed up to offer Hoosier basketball fans a chance to win two tickets to the March 10th home game and a shot at $100,000 in their half-court hall sweepstakes. Fans can enter daily now through March 2nd and find more info at iuhoosiers.com backslash Cousin Subs. The time to save is now. It's Ford Truck Month at your local Ford dealer. And right now, we're offering special deals on all remaining 2023 Ford F-150s in stock. That's right. Get great incentives on the best-selling trucks in America for 47 straight years. But you can't wait. This is a limited-time offer, and it's your last chance to save big on a 2023 Ford F-150. Check out all the great Truck Month deals at buyfordnow.com. And then get over to your local Ford dealer today. Hey, Indiana, are you ready to bust out the fun? Here's how to release the Blitz when you play Cash Blitz Scratch-Offs from the Hoosier Lottery. First, pick up Cash Blitz Scratch-Offs at a retailer near you. Next, to experience all the fun, you have to get pumped because these Scratch-Offs are packed with top prizes all the way up to $500. The fun starts at just $1. Release the Blitz today! Yay! Must be 18 or older to play. Please play responsibly. Welcome back to Simon Scott Assembly Hall. Indiana 34, Michigan State 29 as we're about ready to get the second half of this ball game underway. Fans IU Credit Union has been serving Hoosiers for more than 65 years now. They're the exclusive provider of the IU Athletics MasterCard debit card. Choose yours from six great IU designs and show you who's your pride. IU Credit Union is an official partner of IU Athletics. Well, one thing defensively, Don, Indiana's got to make sure that Tyson Walker does not have an All-American second half here. He had a really slow start to the game offensively, but to end that first half, Michigan State ran offense through Tyson Walker. He ended up in the first half having 10 points on four of seven shooting. I think he started 0 of 3 to start the game and knocked down his next four shots. So uh, that's got to be uh, an emphasis here defensively. Uh, Tyson Walker is the guy that you've got to make life absolutely miserable on here at the offensive end if you're Indiana. Today's game sponsor, CareSource, individual and family health insurance, reimagining health insurance. Indiana sends out Khalil Ware, Malik Renu, Mackenzie Abaco, Xavier Johnson, and Gabe Cuffs. And Xavier's out there because Trey Galloway, who played the first seven minutes of this ball game, hasn't seen action since. He went to the locker room at one point. He did come back out, and he still is dressed. But he is limping a little bit, and I don't know what happened there, but obviously he's not available, or at least at this point he's not. Walker gets the ball for Michigan State. He leads it over to Aiken, and Aikens with the ball fires it back to Walker in the left wing. Down low to Malik Renu. I make that Malik Hall back outside and comes. He and Malik Renu and Hall are guarding each other out there as well. That makes it even more difficult. And there's Tyson Walker knocking down a three. Walker gets his 13th point of the ball game, and all of a sudden, this is a two-point contest. 34 to 32. 
And Indiana is going to be in a dogfight the rest of the way. Here is Gabe Cups. Ball in his hands between the circles. Bounces it over to Marbaco. And then the ball is thrown right into the hands of, uh, of Hogard, who throws it down to the corner for Walker. Another three. This one's off the mark, but they get the rebound. Jackson Kohler feeds it to Walker for another try. The air ball, this one, it went out of bounds off of Malik Renew. And, and Tyson Walker gets three wide open shots here to start the second half. And that, that just cannot happen. He's the best player on Michigan State's offense. And Indiana's got to know and find where he is. They're lucky he didn't make those shots. And he gets the ball again on the inbound. But this time, Gabe Cups cuts him off. He throws it out to Colter, then to Hall. Now to Hogarth, pulls up from 17. And this is the shot. Rebound tipped in the air. A fight for it out of bounds. It's going to belong to Indiana. Jackson Kohler had the last touch on it, so Indiana will get the ball. So Hoosiers maintained a two-point advantage, but they better get some shots getting to drop here. And they are right now struggling. Cups gives it over to Obako, throws it out to Renew. He feeds it left to Johnson, and Xavier brings it back outside. Drives it into the lane, kicks it out to Obako for a three. He misses, and the rebound long, taken out of there by Malik. It would have been by Malik, but it was, I think, Malik Hall who gets called for a foul there. Uh, Trey Galloway's not going to be able to go here in the second half. Indiana needs a really good effort from Xavier Johnson here in the second half. He's got to be much better than we saw early in the game. Here's the inbound from Bacco to Malik Renu. Renu fights his way inside, throws it up there, wouldn't go. Tip back in by Khalil Ware. And Ware gets his 11th point of the ball game. Here's a long three by Akins. He misses in the rebound to Ware. Khalil gives it up to Renew. Renew will bring it down the floor. Throws it to Gabe Cups. Another bad pass thrown behind him. Picked off by Michigan State. Indiana's turnovers are starting to pay a dividend for Michigan State without question. Here's a drive by Hogard. Kicks in the corner for a three from Akins. He misses it. Rebound taken by Hall. He threw Gabe Cups out of the way. No call. Another three try. And this one goes down for Akins. He's got his fifth point of the ball game. And suddenly, Michigan State is within one. 36-35. Across the timeline, Xavier Johnson gets it to Malik Renew. Renew dribbles it to the left side, hands it off to Abaco. McKenzie backs it out. He'll let go of three, and he will rim it in and out. It was halfway down and came back out again. Back down the floor, Michigan State. Walker with it. Fires it outside the hall. They pitch it around the perimeter. Bogart's got it. Drives it to the right side. Lost the handle. And a foul called on Xavier Johnson. That's his second. It's the quality looks that Michigan State's getting here. The first two and a half minutes of the second half. It's just it's night and day different than what we saw from this Indiana defense in the first half. The Sparty's running their stuff. They're getting wide open threes. And uh, just running really good half-court sets. Bogart inbounds to Kohler. Kohler gets the top of the key to Hall. Hall fires it left side into the hands of Hogarth right back out to Kohler. Now they go to Akins. He lets go of three, and he hits. Akins has hit two in a row. He's got his eighth point, and suddenly Michigan State has their first lead of the ball game. 38 to 36. And Indiana down two as Xavier Johnson gets it across the timeline. X takes it to the right side, throws it out to Renew. Renew dribbles it once and hands it off to Mbako. Mbako. Got it stolen. Hogard came up with it off to Malik Hall. Drives inside and it's stripped away from him by Xavier Johnson out of bounds. And Indiana, good defense that time, but they were fortunate. Well, Indiana really misses Trey Galloway here at the offensive end. They're just stagnant offense, four guys standing around, trying to hit the low post. Really easy to guard right now to start the second half. Kohler gets the inbound, gives it to Hall, fires it outside to Hogard. Hogard. Right pass goes to Akins. Another three on the way. He misses this one on the rebound to Khalil Ware. He feeds it off to Xavier. Johnson brings it up the court. X with it on the left wing. Johnson fakes, pulls up. He flies a three. It's way off the mark. An air ball into the hands of Malik Hall. Hall turns around, gives it over to Walker, and Tyson Walker brings it across the timeline. Out to Hall. Hall now. Right back out to Akins, who gives it back to Walker. Walker goes to Hogard. Hogard out near midcourt to reset. 14 on the shot clock. Hogard starts it left, drives it back right, fires it in the corner to Walker for a wing three, and he hit it. And Tyson Walker's got 16 points now, two threes in the second half, just like Jaden Akins. And Michigan State leads Indiana by five. 
41 to 36. 1558 left in this final half of play, and Michigan State has allowed Indiana, or rather, uh, Indiana has allowed this buzzsaw to get started for Michigan State in the second half. We're back in a moment. This is IU Basketball on the CareSource Radio Network from Learfield. Not sure what's next after graduation? Did you know you can earn $20 an hour without having to give up your nights and weekends? Damar ABA Autism Services has open positions at locations across the greater Indianapolis area where you can find sustainable success without having to sacrifice your social life. Find a position in a rewarding field that doesn't require taking on the burden of massive college debt. Secure your future today at Damar.org. That's Damar.org. Hoosier fans, when it comes to transportation solutions, Enterprise runs every play in the book. From renting to buying, with cars, commercial trucks, and even passenger vans, Enterprise offers it all. And with more new college graduate hires every year than anyone else, you'll experience professional, spirited customer service that is unlike any other. So whatever your transportation need is, or the next time you have to travel, Enterprise has you covered. Pick the official partner of IU Athletics. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Who's your fans? Harold Fish Incorporated has been making a difference across Indiana since 1985 as the premier provider of mechanical systems, including heating, air conditioning, plumbing, and process piping. Whether it's a large facility, business, or home, or if you want to work with a local company that is the best at what they do and supports the community, be sure to call HFI for your next project and see how they can make a difference for you. Once again, here at Simon Scott Assembly Hall, Indiana, trailing Michigan State 41 to 36, as the Hoosiers have scored just two points. Wow. The Spartans have scored 11 to start this, make that 12 to start the second half. 12 to two, they've been outscored to start the second half. Not good for this Hoosier ball club. Reed and Schultz, trial lawyers have the strength to accomplish legal challenges you may face. Reed and Schultz, a winning team for victims of injury and loss. More at GreenSchultz.com. Well, if you're Coach Woodson, in this timeout, you've got to be upset with your team's efforts to start this second half. I mean, we talked about the run that Michigan State's gone on. It's come off the back of wide open threes. And defensively, the effort and intensity is just not there for Indiana here the first four minutes of action in this second half. That's why momentum is so important, Don. I mean, it, Spartans had all the momentum going into the second half, and then the Hoochers just come out flat here to start the second half. This is a 9-0 run over the last two minutes for Sparty, and Indiana has put themselves here in a big hole. Uh, and without Trey Galloway in the game right now, somebody else from Indiana has got to step up in the backcourt. And the reason he's out is he's not played since the, well, actually seven minutes of the first half, and then he came out, and he hasn't been back since. Doing a little limping out there, and he's dressed on the bench, but I don't think he's going to play. Here's Ware. Turns around, puts up a shot, and misses, and the rebound taken out of there by Michigan State. Back on the run they come. Here is Hogard with the ball outside the hall. He drives it to the right, feeds it off to Walker. Walker gets into the lane, pitches it back out to Hogard. He drives it to the right, bounces low to Hall. Hall now faces Malik Redu. Hall throws it cross court, a skip pass out to Walker, now to Hogard. Hogard drives into the lane, forces up a runner, and nails it. And Hogard's got his eighth point of the game. 43-36, and this ball game has transitioned dramatically. Seven-point lead for the Spartans. Cooper in the game against Khalil Ware down low. He puts it up and got it. Ware forces his way inside for his second basket of the second half, but that's all Indiana's gotten thus far. 43-38, Michigan State. Here is Akins driving it to the left side against Leal. Offensive foul. Akins called for using his forearm to shove off Anthony Leal. And so Akins picks up his first foul of the ball game. Nice job by Leal. Sliding his feet. Indiana needs a spark, Don. Somebody has got to do something here to get this crowd back in the ball game. And we've got timeout called here with 14.59 on the clock here in this first half of play. Michigan State leading Indiana 43-38. to We're back in a moment. This is IU Basketball on the CareSource Radio Network from Learfield. We're back with a report on a big new craze that is sweeping the nation. Boy bands are back in style? No. The win big sweepstakes with Marathon Arco Rewards. Tell me more. 
Each time you fill up or buy items, you enter to win prizes like a new SUV, free gas for a year, and more. Those prizes are as good as the return of the boy bands. Except they won't leave you for a solo career. Marathon Arco Rewards win big sweepstakes. Sign up today on the Marathon Arco Rewards app online or at any participating station. Marathon. Driven together. Terms and conditions apply. This is Steve Webb with Electric Plus, a full-service electrical contractor powering Indiana with offices in Bloomington, Avon, Lafayette, and Kokomo. We work hard to deliver big wins for our customers. We lead the league in new construction, expansions, modernizations, and service repair. Our team excels at industrial, commercial, residential, and 24-7 emergency coverage. Just like the Hoosiers desire to be the best, the mission of Electric Plus is to be the best electrical contractor, period. For more information, please visit electricplus.com and go Hoosiers! Smart business security from Smithville only notifies you of what's important, such as your camera is offline, motion is detected in restricted areas, open doors, and more. Smart business security uses advanced technology to accurately detect people and vehicles in and around your business. This means that you can say goodbye to false alarms, unimportant notifications, and accidental police calls. Visit smithville.com forward slash smart security for more information. Once again, here at Simon Scott Assembly Hall, Indiana, finding itself in a hole now, down 5, 43 to 38, with 14.59 to go in this final half of play on the Central Indiana Honda Dealer School Board. Green and Schultz trial lawyers have the strength to accomplish legal challenges you may face. Green and Schultz, a winning team for victims of injury and loss, more at greenschultz.com. I mentioned that right before the break, a spark. Something needs to change here for Indiana. This is a great home court advantage here in Assembly all you get the crowd going you know a lot of good things can happen but just like the play that we've seen from the Hoosiers in the first five minutes of action in this second half this crowd right now is flat and somebody from Indiana has got to do something extraordinary whether it's diving on the floor for a loose ball making a play an unselfish play at the offensive end I don't care what it is but something to let their teammates know we got to get back in this ball game you got to provide some sort of spark get this crowd into the game and, and put yourself in a position to win and Gabe Cups is back on the lineup for Indiana. Indiana scored just 10 points in the final 850 of the first half, and they had 22. And since then, it's 36 to 14 Michigan State since Indiana's 17 point lead. Here's Malik Renew with a job. Oh, he gets a little jump hook to go down, and Renew comes up with a 12 point. Indiana almost had a steal there, but couldn't quite get it done. Here is Hall outside, dribbling to the right wing. Hall spins away, down inside, kicks it outside to Holloman. He gets it over to Akins for a three. This one's off the mark, and Xavier Johnson saves it for Indiana from going out of bounds to Gabe Cups. Cups brings it back down the court. Cups across the timeline on the dribble, works it to the top, fires it right to Anthony Leal. Leal lobs it into Khalil Ware. Ware gets Cooper inside, forces up a shot, got it. And Khalil Ware gets his 15th point. Indiana starting to get a little run back. And Indiana down just one, 43 to 42. Holloman with the basketball. On the dribble against Cuffs. And a whistle away from the ball. And Xavier Johnson gets called for a foul down in the lane. And he and Walker were going at it, I believe. And Xavier picks up his third personal foul. Uh, he got that because of his reputation there. Both those guys were pushing. X took the flop, and the call got called against Xavier Johnson. Easily could have been called against Tyson Walker. Mike Woodson is beside himself right now. And, and Mackenzie Abaco is about to check into the lineup. Now another official comes over to Woodson and says something to him. Review it here, Don. Yeah, Woodson uh, apparently got one official's attention, and they're going to review to see what happened uh, at the other end of the floor between Xavier and Tyson Walker, I believe. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, both players were kind of battling right there in the middle of the paint, and I thought at first glance that could easily have been called against Tyson Walker. Uh, I think Xavier Johnson got the foul call because of his reputation here the last several weeks of this season, and uh, they're going to review it. I don't know what the rules are uh, when it comes to overturning a foul call. Uh, I do not think it, it falls under the flagrant one category from Tyson Walker. It looked like he just pushed off, uh, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what uh, happens here as they review 
uh, this scuffle between Xavier Johnson and Tyson Walker. Well, Woodson apparently is taking a timeout. Now, if the timeout, the timeout will go against Indiana if, in fact, they don't overturn what they saw earlier. Right, and that's the discussion that Coach Woodson was having with the official. The benefit of having the big board here, Don, is Coach Woodson was able to watch the replay first before he decided on reviewing this or not. So it definitely was not a player one. I thought it initially was an offensive foul on Tyson Walker. Uh, went against X, but we'll have to wait and see uh, what these officials you know, say after watching the replay. Well, they're taking a long look here. Honda's hybrid game is strong. Check out the Accord and CRV hybrid at your local Honda dealer for up to 46 miles per gallon and 614 miles per tank. It is game on. Now the officials again talking to the gentleman who is running the replay. Apparently he wasn't seeing what he wanted to see. Tom Izzo talking to another official. Woody talking to his ball club right now. 13.55 on the clock. 42, 43-42. Michigan State by one. 13.55 left here in the first half. They're going to say no flagrant foul, I guess. And Indiana gets charged with a timeout. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. I mean, they, I don't think you can go and review just a common foul and change the call on the other team. It'd only be if there was a flagrant one which is what the request was to review if there was a flagrant one. And it was just a push-off. Both guys were tangled up underneath, and Michigan State's going to have the ball out of bounds underneath. So the foul stands on, on Xavier. That's his third. And Gabe Cups is back in replacing Xavier. Here's the inbound from Trey Holloman from Michigan State at their end of the floor with 20 in the clock. And here's a three-pointer, and Tyson Walker just drilled it. Was that a two or a three? I think it was a two. They said the foot was on the line. 18 points for him. And it is 45-42. Here is Gabe Cups. Circles to the right. Gives to Mackenzie and Baco. He throws it back out to Malik Renew. Down inside to Khalil Ware. And now we got a whistle away from the basketball. And they're going to call Sissoko with another foul. He hasn't seen a lot of playing time today, but he's got three personal fouls already. Yeah, that's because he just reaches and grabs and holds. He's a, a big body, but... And the assistant coaches for Michigan State, every single time he's in the game, they remind him, you got to have your hands straight up in the air. Yeah, and Sissoko goes to the sideline, and they bring in Kohler once again. So Jackson Kohler's now the big man of the game. we got Holloman and Leal pushing on one another as Mackenzie and Bacla tries to inbound. He looks, he looks, and finally gets it into Khalil Ware. Ware on the baseline against Kohler, trying to back him into the lane. Gets it into the lane, pulls up, turns, fires a jump shot, and hits it. Ware with another sensational shot, his 17th point. And Indiana back within one, 45-44. Now, Walker with the basketball. Walker getting by one man, drives it into the lane, throws up a remutter and a reverse layup, scores the basket, and they call a foul. And Tyson Walker is taking over this game. He's got 10 points in the first six minutes, 45 seconds of this second half. And that time, he went off the ball screen, kind of split the hedge, got underneath the basket, used the rim as a protector against Khalil Ware, and finished the up and under for a spectacular chance at a three-point play. Walker with 20 points, three-point lead for Michigan State, trying to make it four, Tyson Walker at the line. And he does exactly that. He's got 21 now. He is capable of scoring a bunch. He's got a 36 career high and a 35 at Michigan State. Here is Gabe Cops with a basketball. 48-44, Indiana down four. He feeds it over to Ware, right back to Cups, takes it to the right side of the wing, looks in, throws it back out to Khalil. Ware holds on. Now fires up a three. We're off the rim, no good, and the rebound comes to Hogarth. Back down the floor, Hogard. Right side pass comes to Walker. Back outside the hall. He feeds it left to Holloman. Holloman drives it to the lane. Gives it back out to Jackson Kohler, who feeds it off to Hogard. He goes to the baseline. Bounces inside to Kohler, who pitches back out. And they got Walker in the corner for another. Nope, can't get the three off, so he'll dribble that back out of the way. Defense pretty good this time. As Walker gets down low, fires it off the backboard and in. Walker with a tough shot, and he makes his 23rd point of the ball game. Back the other way, and Indiana gets an easy bucket as they get it to Khalil Ware down low. That is his 19th point. Tom Izzo not pleased with that at all. Here is Holloman. 
Throws it back outside to Kohler. Kohler hands it off to Walker. Walker on the perimeter. Well, there's a lot of physicality going down there, both offensively and defensively for both teams. Here is Hogard, gets it into Hall. Hall against Leo. Spins, fires up the baseline shot, and no good on the rebound of Malik Renew. He bounces to Gabe Cups. Cups across the timeline, takes it to the wing on the left side. And now dribbles it to the top between the circles, drives it right, down the corner to Leo. Anthony gets it into Ware. Khalil Ware works against Kohler. Now a whistle. Away from the basketball, and they call a personal foul on Tyson Walker. And so on Walker, I think his second. And timeout is called with a score. 50 to 46, Michigan State leading in, leading Indiana. Tom Hizzo really upset with Kohler right now. 11.38 to go here in this final half of play. We're back in a moment. This is IU Basketball, the Carousel's radio network from Learfield. When it comes to stuffed crust, here at Papa John's, we know our stuff. Because when you've hand-stuffed as many crusts as we have, you know you've become a stuffed legend. And now we're bringing you another epic flavor combination with the new Cheesy Calzone Epic Stuffed Crust Pizza. Made with a blend of mozzarella and garlic or ricotta, this pizza has your favorite calzone flavor stuffed right into Papa John's original crust. The new Cheesy Calzone Epic Stuffed Crust Pizza. Get a one-topping pizza for a limited time, only at Papa John's. Folks ask, Salty Pete, what's the best part of being a pirate? Hello? It's all the buried treasure. I've been following this here treasure map all day. Time to dig. Oh, I went to a lesson. No Charlie was... Arr! Hey, that weird pirate guy just took out a power line. Blow me down. Literally. Contact Indiana 811 at least two working days before picking up a shovel. It's the only way to dig. Learn more at 811.safedigindiana.com. Life's certainties. Taxes. We'll take that. And that's all I had left. Death. And Indianapolis traffic. Karen, where are you? Now you know, sitting on the northeast side, I'm never coming home. Do less sitting. I hate traffic. And do more living. A long-term ramp closure. That bear traffic. Eastbound 465. Ramp will be closed through 2024. Mornings and afternoons. Lane restrictions on the northeast side. On 93 WIPC. Back once again here at Simon Scott Assembly Hall, 11.38 to go in this one. Michigan State leads the Hoosiers 50 to 48, 50 to 46. And obviously Indiana getting a 17-point lead in the first half. It got away from them by halftime. It was down to five. And in the second half, it's Michigan State who has ruled the roost thus far. We'll see if Indiana can make a comeback in this one. Our game is brought to you by Carasaurus, individual and family health insurance, helping members achieve not just better health care, but better lives. At Carasaurus, they're removing barriers. They're improving lives. They're reimagining health insurance. Well, it's been Tyson Walker from Michigan State's really carried the load offensively for the Spartans. And again, I'll mention it, uh, one of Indiana's best perimeter defenders is Trey Galloway, who has not been in the game here since about the, what, 12-minute mark in the first half. And uh, the offensive end, Indiana, has not quite looked the same. And defensively, Indiana has had no answers for really the best guard on the court in Tyson Walker. He's got 23 points on 9 of 14 from the field. Don, this is a guy that started 0 of 3 here to start this ball game. Now, he has been spectacular in this second half, and Indiana's going to have to find a way to take away Walker if they hope to win this ball game. Anthony Leal will inbound for IU with 20 on the shot clock. He whoop, deflected pass on the inbound, and they got a fast break going the other way, and Hogard will lay it in and score the basket. Now it's a six-point game. Michigan State taking control of this one. That's 10 points now for Hogard. Indiana's turnovers have been really disastrous. Now, here is Gabe Cops on the dribble. Outside, drives it, kicks it over to Mackenzie Abaco in low to Khalil Ware, and Sissoko got him again. And Sissoko now has got four fouls in this contest. And, and now it'll be Carson Cooper as Tom Hizzo continues to bring in big after big with not very many opportunities to get Khalil Ware stopped if they can get the ball to him. Sissoko sits down, Kohler back in, or actually Cooper is in the game now, and here is Anthony Leal to inbound. Gets it into Khalil Ware. Ware, dotted by Carson Cooper. Ware, end of the lane, puts it up and couldn't get it to go. Rebound tipped up. Mackenzie Mbako has it and knocked out of bounds. It'll belong to IU. Nice job by Malik. Indiana needs that type of effort. Rebounding the ball, Don. 
Second chance opportunities could give your team the spark that's needed here. Nice job by Malik. Mackenzie Abaco to trigger the inbound play. And Abaco gets it in to Malik Renew. He's on the wing, holds on to it, turns around, looks. Now he's got to work on Malik Hall. Gets it in to side to Anthony Leal. Puts it up, missed it. Right back in. Khalil Ware with a rebound, slams it back home. 21 for him. Ware, sensational again today. 52-48. Here's Hogard, takes it down inside the lane. Whistle blows. Foul out on the floor, and they're going to call Anthony Leal for this one. And Leal now has his second. Ball will belong to Michigan State out of bounds. 10.43 to go, and again a down four. 52 to 48, Spartans basketball inbound comes to Hall. Hall gives it off to Hogard. Hogard brings it out near midcourt. Now comes back with a pass to Hall. He feeds it off to Holloman. They weave it out front. Now Hogard has it, rising into the lane, down low, turns around, clears it to Hall, right back outside to Holloman. Holloman almost had his pick of pocket pick, throws up a jump shot, missed it, and the rebound knocked away from Malik Hall or Renew, and it's out of bounds off of Michigan State. Great contest by Gabe there. Holloman is trying to make a play one on one, and Gabe showed that he can guard the ball, he can contest. He's done a nice job here defensively. Now Gabe gets it across the timeline. Gives it to Malik Renew out of the pre uh, out of the three-point line. Gives it back off the cups. Now back to Renew. Renew dribbles to the right, hands to Leal. Anthony down in the corner. Back out it comes to Renew. Renew tries to back his way in the lane. And got to be a traveling violation or a foul. It's going to be traveling. So, a, yeah, he missed a wide open Anthony Leal in the right corner. Wide, I'm talking wide open. And that's that's Leal's shot there, the spot up three in the corner. And Xavier Johnson with three fouls comes back in, and, and Gabe Cup sits down. 52-48, Spartans with the ball and the lead. Here comes Hogarth across the timeline. Hogard drives to the right, down low, turns around, clears it outside to Walker for an open three, and he buries it. He has got 26 points now. He has hit four three-pointers in this ball game. He had 10 points in the first half. He's got 16 already here in the second half. Malik Renew out to Xavier Johnson. Dribbles it to the top. Bounces in low to Khalil Ware. Ware against Carson Cooper. Throws up a hook and hits. That was about a 10-foot hook shot. And Khalil Ware with his 23rd point. Trying to will Indiana back in this ballgame. 55 to 50. 9-14 left. Hoosiers down to Michigan State. Hogarth with the ball for the Spartans. On the dribble to the right side of the circle. Cut off by Xavier. Now throws it outside to Tyson Walker. Walker takes it to the left side. Pulls up, throws it outside to Hall. Hall fakes. He drives into the lane, fires up a jumper, rims it no good. Ware with a rebound. He clears it off to Xavier. Johnson down the floor. X on the dribble. Takes it to the top, slides it to the left with a pass to Mackenzie Embaco for three, and he hits. Embaco's first points of the second half, his third three of the game. And that gets the crowd back into it. Indiana down just two, 55 to 53. Across the timeline, Hogard. Hogard drives to the left side, passes it right to Akins. Akins fires it off to Hall. Hall pitches off to Hogard. He fires up the three of his own. He missed it. Long rebound to Mackenzie Abaco. He clears to Xavier Johnson. X gets it across the timeline. Xavier. Lobs it in to Malik Renew. Renew tries to back his way in. Kicks it back out to X for a three try. Bingo! Xavier Johnson's first basket of the day. It's a three, and Indiana's got the lead back. 56 to 55. 7.45 to go, and this crowd is on its feet. Timeout. Michigan State. Timeout called by Michigan State with 7.42. We'll take a break here and be back. 56-55 Indiana. Unraveled Quilt Store is the first choice of quilters and creators in central Indiana for nearly a decade. Located at Fletcher Avenue and Spencer or online at unraveledquiltstore.com. Back in a moment, this is IU Basketball, the CareSource Radio Network from Learfield. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. 
It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog, because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Hey, Indiana, are you ready to bust out the fun? Here's how to release the blitz when you play Cash Blitz Scratch-Offs from the Hoosier Lottery. First, pick up Cash Blitz Scratch-Offs at a retailer near you. Next, to experience all the fun, you have to get pumped because these scratch-offs are packed with top prizes all the way up to $500. The fun starts at just $1. Release the blitz today! Must be 18 or older to play. Please play responsibly. At CareSource, we get you. We get that you're working hard, but you still need to buy your own health insurance. We get that you want big benefits for a small budget. That's why we've made our Marketplace health plans so easy to afford. In fact, four out of five Marketplace customers can get a plan for under 10 bucks per month with financial help. So get great benefits, get a great rate, and know that we'll always have your back. CareSource, we got you. Enroll by January 15th at caresource.com slash marketplace. Back once again here at Simon Scott Assembly Hall, Indiana. Has jumped back on time. 56 to 55 with 7.42 to go in this ball game over Michigan State. As the Hoosiers take the lead back once again on the Central Indiana Honda Dealer School Board. Don't forget to join Terry Boren tomorrow night at the Chop Shop here in Bloomington and over most of these same radio network stations for Inside IU Basketball with the coach of the women's basketball team doing the final show of the year that we have available from a coaching perspective. And, of course, Terry Boren will be on and along with a couple of players tomorrow night. Austin Brender will host the show while we are on our way to Minneapolis, Minnesota for the Big Ten Tournament. Well, this 8-0 run here to give Indiana a one-point lead is capped off by Xavier Johnson making a spot-up three on the ring wing. He has really struggled to shoot the ball this year, and Michigan State has doubled off of X as the ball has hit the low post. you got to give credit to X. He steps up, makes a big-time shot on that right wing to uh, give Indiana this one-point lead. Uh, X is making some plays, Don, in a bad first half. has been much better here in the second not only did he make that shot, he's got two assists here. He's taking care of the basketball. He's doing some things well for Indiana. Inbound, and Tyson Walker has it to Hogard. Hogard drives it right side in the corner for an Aikens three. He misses, and the rebound tipped in the air and battled out of bounds. It'll belong to Indiana. Getting some stops here, too. Michigan State's on a little bit of a scoring drought. This crowd's in the game. Out of the timeout, you know Coach Woodson drew up a set here. Let's see what Indiana runs. Xavier will bring it across the timeline, picked up by Walker. X takes it to the right side, on the wing, looks down low, lobs it into Malik Renu. Renu turns around on Hall. Hall passes into Ware, puts it up, and couldn't get it. Off the rim, no good. Rebound kicked out, and Hogard's got it down the floor quickly for Michigan State. Outside the Hall, right back to Hogard to reset. 7.08 left in this contest, and Indiana's got a one-point lead. Here's the pass right side to Akins. Akins drives it to the right down low, throws it in the corner to Hall. Outside it comes to Walker, wide open, three on the way. Off the rim, he missed it, but there's Cooper, Carson Cooper, for a rebound slam dunk. And back comes Michigan State on top by one. Both these teams are making plays right now. 57-56, Spartans on top by a point. Across the timeline, Xavier Johnson against Walker. Johnson starts to the right, throws it back left to Mackenzie Mbako. Back out it comes to X. Now, Xavier fakes the, uh, drives it down low, gets it to Leal in the corner. Anthony Leal drives, throws up a left-handed pass into the hands of Khalil Ware, and Ware scores the basket. That was a left-handed pass. He made it look like he was going to take the shot, but drew, drew two defenders, and he lobbed it up to Khalil Ware. 58 to 57. 6 10 to go. Crowd really getting into it now. Here is Hogart. On the dribble. Brings it back outside. Hogart out near midcourt. Drives to the left. Down low he goes. Pulls up. And a traveling violation on Hogart. Indiana gets Michigan State turning it over. That is their eighth of the ball game. 
So Indiana will get the ball back and a chance to increase the lead here. Xavier Johnson will bring it up the court. X gets it across the timeline. Takes it to the left side. Now fires it off to Mackenzie Abaco. Down low to Malik Renew. Renew against Hall. Tries to back him down. Throws it outside to X. He gets it back to Malik. He turns on Hall. Nice spin move. Fakes. Puts it up. Score! And a basket. And a foul is called. That's a heck of a move right there by Malik Renew. A spin back to the middle. Shot fake. Got Hall way up in the air. Drew the contact. And got the end one for Indiana. What a play by Malik Renew. So Malik will have a chance here at a three-point play. Foul was on Malik Hall. That was his second. Malik's free throw is no good. It's off the front of the rim. That's his first miss of the day at the line. But nevertheless, Indiana still got a three-point lead here. 60-57. Here's a pass to Walker. Down low, it comes to Hall. Hall worked on. Throws it back outside to Walker. Right side pass to the corner to Hoggard. Hoggard outside to Akins. He feeds it back out to Walker. Four in the shot clock. Walker's going to have to force one up. He drives the baseline, throws up a rudder, won't go. Shot clock violation. Tell you what, the Spartans are struggling. Once they beat that first defender... Indiana's got Khalil Ware just waiting underneath the basket. Doesn't have a lot of block shots here today. Actually, he has two. But there's been multiple occasions where he has impacted the play just because Michigan State's worried about the shot block. They're not able to finish under the rim. X gets it across the timeline. Nine turnovers in a ball game for Michigan State. Here is Xavier against Walker. Throws it down low to Malik Renew. Renew against Hall. Malik bangs into the lane, scrambles loose, lost the ball. Another turnover by IU. Here is Akins, and he slams it home. And Jaden Akins has got his 10th point, and we're back to a one-point contest. Four and a half minutes left, the Hoosiers by a point. Xavier with a basketball. X on the right side, slow bounce, dribble left hand, gives it out to Malik Renew, top of the lane. Dribbles it to the left, gives to Abaco. He gets a three off, and he misses it. And the rebound taken out of there by Hall. Down the floor for Michigan State. They can take the lead back with this possession. Hoggard with the ball out near midcourt. Between the circles. X guarding him. Gets it to Walker. Walker. Takes it back to the right. And back to the left. Now he feeds it out to Akins for a three. He ribs it no good. The rebound's knocked away to Cooper. Back outside, they get another chance. 60-59, Michigan State. Hoggard again. Slowly bounces it out near midcourt. Looks for a screen. Works to the right. Cut off. Drives it down into the lane. Lost the ball. Whistle blows. Foul is called against Indiana. And two seconds on the shot clock there. Hogarth had nothing. Absolutely nothing. But just use that big body. He's a big point guard. And six foot four. He just muscled his way into the paint. Drew the foul. And uh, saves the possession for Michigan State. And the Spartans have the basketball when we return with 3.32 to go. And Indiana leading by 160-59. to 59. We'll be back in a moment. This is IU Basketball the Carasaurus Radio Network from Learfield. Check out Honda certified pre-owned vehicles. They're like new and only available at your local Honda dealer. Checked, inspected, and reconditioned with genuine Honda parts by factory trained technicians. Honda certified it. And backed it with a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Certified pre-owned Hondas are in stock now at your local Honda dealer. Drive worry-free with a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Honda certified it. Only when you buy at your local Honda dealer. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're good at insurance. But not just any insurance. We're good at... No, 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 no. Did you forget the parking brake? Yes, you forgot the parking brake. Insurance. When the forecast calls for cheese ball size hail insurance. Even shouldn't have parked under that tree. Insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. 
Get back to doing what you love. If you're experiencing hip or knee pain and it's affecting your everyday activities, it may be time to schedule a consultation with one of our highly skilled orthopedic surgeons. Our fellowship trained surgeons specialize in outpatient joint replacement. We may be able to get you home on the same day of your procedure. As the official health care and sports medicine provider of IU Athletics, IU Health will give you the expert care you need close to home. Call 812-333-BONE or visit iuhealth.org slash Bloomington Ortho. Project to see how they can make a difference. Back once again here at Simon Scott Assembly Hall, Indiana. 60, Michigan State 59 with 3.32 to go in this ball game. Looking to buy, sell, or build a home and don't know where to start? Call the trusted agents at True Blood Real Estate, the official real estate partner of Indiana Athletics. It's winning time. It's a one-point game under the four-minute mark here in the second half. This is where you need great guard play in college basketball. In these tight games, the team that's got guards that take care of the ball, make the pass at the right time and can make crucial shots down the stretch is a team that's going to have a great chance to win the ball game. We've seen Xavier Johnson play a little bit better here in this second half, and that has helped Indiana. Solid point guard play has been good as Indiana not only has taken this one-point lead, but has really made some plays at both ends, and I just got a feeling this thing could come down to which team makes the play when it matters most, which team makes the big shot, which team takes care of the ball and doesn't you know, have a silly turnover as the shot clock's winding down. We'll have to wait and see, but uh, Indiana's guards have got to step up in a big way here. Indiana shooting 47% for the ball game, Michigan State 40%. But man, that run they had with the three point shots falling for Tyson Walker, um, that was really big for this Michigan State team. And they got back in this game, and now it's back and forth. And the Spartans have a chance to take the lead back with the ball with 20 seconds on the shot clock as play resumes here. Anthony Leo will guard it, and the inbound comes to Malik Hall. Hall gives it right back outside to Hogarth. Bogart starts the right, comes back to the left, can't penetrate, throws it in to Walker, gets it down into the lane, throws up a runner, won't go, it's tipped up in the air and picked off by Xavier Johnson. Down the floor, X with the basketball, lobs up the corner to Leo, and a bad pass thrown away by Aikens, who comes up with a terrific play. Aikens leaped in the air a mile to get that pass, and it was, I mean, X was trying to feed it out in the corner, just not a good, not a good, not not a good, good idea. Bad decision there by X. Three minutes left, Bogart with the ball. Michigan State can take the lead. They get it down to Cooper inside to Cleo for Ware call for a foul. So Ware picks up the personal. That will be his second. And he probably pretty much had to do that because Carson Cooper was ready to get in there for a slam dunk it looked like. It was a great little pick and roll right in the middle of the paint. And you're right. It, it was a slam dunk if the foul's not committed. Just really good court vision there by Hogard as he came off the, the ball screen. Just a quick decision to lob that basketball up to Cooper who almost had the point blank dunk. Cooper goes to the line hitting 74% of his free throws in Big Ten play. He's got two points in this ball game. First one is on its way and he got it off the back of the rim. So the best he can do is tie it if he hits the second. 56 left, Indiana 60, Michigan State 59. Cooper with one more. Takes his time, fires it up there, and this one goes down, and we're tied at 60 apiece. Cooper with his third point, and it is Indiana with a basketball. Xavier Johnson brings it across the timeline. Guarded by Walker. And now he fires it off to Malik Renew. Malik back outside to X. Left side pass to Mbako. Back to X. Drives it right. Dumps it into Malik Renew. Down inside. Puts it up and in. And he draws a foul. Malik Renew with the 16th point. And he'll have a chance at a three-point play here. And Malik's really making plays for Indiana right now. You got to give credit to Xavier Johnson there. That was just good patience. And hit Malik right in the soft spot. Right in the paint, about 10 feet from the basket. And Malik showed hey, he's one of the best finishers in the entire Big Ten when he catches the ball that close. He was 4 for 4 in the first half. He is 0 for 1 here in the second half of the line. These are important. Free throw is up and missed it. Rebound taken out of there by Cooper. And it's taken away by Malik. Over to Xavier Johnson. Slow it down exactly right. Give yourself some time and give yourself a good shot here. Don't force anything at this point. Ten seconds on the shot clock. X with the ball. Fires it right to Malik. Renew. Three seconds. Got to shoot. Malik throws it up. 
Wouldn't go. Rebound battle for it. Cooper's got it for Michigan State. On a fast break down the floor. And they're going to call a foul against Indiana. And they're going to call it on Mackenzie Obaco. That's the seventh team foul here. So Tyson Walker is going to go to the free throw line. Shoot one one Don, it looked like their feet just got tangled up there in transition. Yeah, or that or Tyson Walker just tripped on his own. But that replay does not look like there was any contact at all. This crowd hates the call. Well, <laughs> never touched it. Never touched it. And he's going to get the ball. They're going to shoot it. Walker at the line. Fires it up and hits it. Tyson Walker with his 27th point. Looked like, looked like he just tripped over his own feet. And he did trip over his own feet. Mackenzie Mbaka was in the area, but the replay shows no contact at all. Walker will tie it if he hits number two, and he does exactly that. He's got 28 points in this ball game. Tied at 62 apiece with 2.10 to go. If that would have been 10 seconds or 15 seconds or later, they could have reviewed it, but they did not. Here is X. Off it comes to Malik Renu. Dumps it into Khalil Ware. Down low. Fires it up. Got it. And a foul. Khalil Ware buries his 27th point with a little jump hook. Gets a chance at his 28th. And he can make it a three-point game with a minute 55 to go. Yeah, it, that might have been a makeup call there. But Indiana has done a really nice job in getting the ball to Malik Renu. That time, Khalil Ware about 10 feet from the basket. Indiana's bigs are finishing. So Khalil at the line. The free throw on its way. It's off the rim. Does it go down? And Cooper comes up with a rebound. Right Indiana up. by two. Starting to miss some free throws here. Yep, 64-62. Indiana by a pair. 145 left. Here is Hogard with the ball against Anthony Leal. Hogard drives it to the right, gets loose, fires in the corner. Here is Hall, back out to Hogard, now to Walker. Nine on the shot clock. They're going to try and get a shot for Walker. Walker drives it across the lane, down low, puts it up and in. Walker, just so quick, gets his 30th point of this contest. And we're tied at 64. A minute 21 to go. X brings it to the left side. On the dribble, back to the right. Down low, he dumps it off to Malik. He fires it out to Leo. Anthony into the lane. Throws up a runner. Couldn't get it. And the rebound fought for. And taken out of there by a Aikens. Comes up with it somehow. He has been so good. Rebounding the ball, getting steals. He's showing his athleticism. And here's a timeout call by Tom Izzo. Man, how did that ball not drop by Anthony Leo? That thing just hung on the rim. That and the fact that Ware then had his hands on the rebound and had it taken away by Aikens. I think Ware thought he was going to be called for either stepping out of bounds or something because he let go of it. He let go of it as he was going out of bounds. But I, I thought it was a nice drive by Anthony Leal. One-on-one, -on -one, took the contact. Uh, that ball just hung on the rim, Don. And if that goes down, that's the play of the game. But now we've got Michigan State with the basketball tied at 64 apiece. Timeout is on the floor. We're going to keep it right here for 57 seconds left in this ball game. Hoosier fans head to Arby's this season to take advantage of the Hoosier game day special. Four Arby's roast beef sandwiches for only $10. Available every game day, home and away, at your local Bloomington area Arby's. Well, we had a feeling, E, that when this ball game, when Indiana had a 17-point lead, we were going to have to absorb a run by Michigan State at some point. But from the 8.50 mark of the first half in, Michigan State had cut the 17-point lead down to five at halftime. Then they took the lead up to seven, I think, in the second half here early. And since then, it's been a dogfight. It really has. And it credits Indiana for fighting back after Michigan State took that lead in the second half. Uh, you know, basketball is a game of momentum. And it's been a lot of swings here. Started with Indiana hot to start the game. Michigan State makes their run. Indiana makes their run. And then the Spartans have responded here after Indiana responded. And they're the ones that are making the, the plays right now. So we've got under a minute left to go in this ball game, And uh, this is what it's all about right here. Big Ten basketball at its finest. These two teams are competing. 57 seconds left. Hoggard will inbound for Michigan State. He gets it into Walker. Walker slides to the left on the dribble. Brings it back to the right. 
Pulls up, then drives to the left again. Down low he goes, throws up a runner, doesn't go down, but Cooper's got the rebound. Back up, he missed, and Khalil Ware with a rebound. He feeds it off to Leo, 42 seconds to go. And Indiana will call a timeout here. Maybe. Yep, he's going to call timeout. And time is cold. 33 seconds to go, 19 on the shot clock. So there's plenty of time left if Indiana can get a bucket here for Michigan State to do the same. Uh, and you got to think Indiana's going to look inside here. I mean, most of their plays over the last three or four minutes have been designed to either get Khalil Ware or Malik renew the ball about five to ten feet from the basket. And Indiana's bigs have done a really nice job finishing through contact. But you got to draw up your best set here. I think Indiana's at brand advantage right now is the front court. I would be shocked here if Coach Woodson draws up anything aside from getting the, one of those two guys the basketball here. 33 seconds left to go on the clock. Indiana has no timeouts left, so they have called their last timeout. Michigan State has one. Right, which is key. And, and, you know, Coach Izzo goes two for one. They, they ran a set for Tyson Walker, and they got that shot up quick. So Sparty's going to have an opportunity here. If they can get a stop or even if Indiana scores, uh, the Spartans will have an opportunity. There's about 14 seconds difference. Shot clock and game clock here. Uh, what a ball game, though. I mean, last game of the season, it's senior night. Indiana's been without Trey Galloway, but credit to the Hoosiers. They have made plays here to stay right in this ball game. We haven't said that enough, but Galloway won out with uh, just over seven minutes in this ball game in the first half, and he has not come back. He has a, has had ice on the knee the entire ball game since then. He went to the locker room for some time, then came back out before the first half came to a close. But he continues to limp to the bench each time with still ice on that knee. So obviously he is probably not going to see any more action today. It's up to this group that's on the floor. Mackenzie Abaco, Malik Renu, Khalil Ware. Anthony Leal and Xavier Johnson. The inbound comes to X, and he has it out near midcourt, takes it to the right side, brings it back to the left, gives it off to Mbako, and Mbako bounces it into Malik Renu. He works on Hall, down low, the double team comes, throws it back out to X. Now Xavier, five of the shot clock to Ware, puts it up. Foul called on Cooper. And Indiana's Khalil Ware is going to go to the free throw line where he has not been exceptional in this ball game. He hasn't made any of the four attempts he's taken. Heck of a pass that time by Xavier Johnson. Shot clock's winding down, Don, and he threaded the needle right off that ball screen, hit Khalil as he was flashing to the basket. And these are the two biggest free throws of the night here for Khalil Ware, a chance to give Indiana the lead. Khalil with 27 points in the ball game. Eyes the first attempt. On its way, no good off the back of the rim. Has one more, can give Indiana a one-point lead with 17.8 seconds to go. You got to think make or miss here. Michigan State's going to call a timeout. Yeah, they got one left. Where with one more. Eyes number two. Flies it in the air. Got it! 28 points for Khalil Ware. Indiana with a one-point lead. Here comes Hoggard across the timeline. Quick timeout by Michigan State. And so the Spartans, with 14.5 seconds to go, have a chance to win this ball game. Yeah, and that's a good timeout by Coach Izzo. But what about a, the, the pressure and the clutch free throw there by Khalil Ware? I mean, Indiana runs a set, gets to the free throw line just like we hoped, and the big man knocks down the free throw here. And Coach Uzo's got an opportunity here to draw up a play. Last time out, he went with Tyson Walker, wasn't able to get the basket. But you got to think they're going to run something with Tyson Walker. He's got 30 points on 11 of 20 from the field. He has been spectacular here in the second half. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but this is the defensive possession of the season right now for Indiana. A chance to get a stop and come away with your fourth straight victory heading into the Big Ten tournament. This is what it's all about here. Nobody with fingernails is going to have them after this ball game. 65-64. Indiana leading by one. 14.5 seconds to go. Crowd is going to get into it big time. Hoosier send out Khalil Ware, Malik Renu, Anthony Leal, Mackenzie Abaco, and Xavier Johnson. Hogard, Aikens. Walker, Cooper, and Hall for Michigan State. Hogard in front of the Michigan State bench to inbound. Hogard 
looks, gets it into Walker. Walker takes it to the right side. Still on the dribble. Now trying to penetrate down low. Throws up a runner. Wouldn't go. Tipped up in the air. Tipped again. All right. Xavier's got it. Indiana's going to win. He dribbles it out. Hoosiers win. Johnson, Trey Galloway, Anthony Leal, and, and of course, Anthony Walker. It's a great stop by Indiana. Xavier Johnson was the primary defender on Tyson Walker. But I'll tell you what, Anthony Leal recognized it was an ISO on the right wing. Rather than chase the offensive player to the other side of the court, Leal stayed and helped side position, which made it really difficult on Tyson Walker to finish that little floater. Great team defense. Indiana comes away with the defensive rebound. And what a huge win for Indiana. Their fourth straight victory. And they've got a ton of momentum right now going into the Big Ten tournament. Without question, a tremendous victory for this Indiana ball club to finish out a regular season that was disappointing at times. But nevertheless, they find a way to get it done here at the end with four straight wins to close out the year. They are now 18-13 and 13 overall. And they are 10 and 10 in league play, as is Michigan State. But Hoosiers have the tiebreaker against that ball club. And right now, it looks like Indiana is going to get a, a much better seed than anticipated two weeks ago. Uh, no doubt about it. I think it's a six or seven seed right now. So uh, Indiana not only avoids the Wednesday game, Don, but they get the night game, I believe, on Thursday, which gives them a little extra rest. It also puts them, in my opinion, in a really good position in the bracket. They avoid having to play the top seed in the second round of the second game so they got an opportunity here in, in the Big Ten that's not lear, not nearly as good as it has been in years past uh, Indiana's draw now in the bracket all of a sudden looks very doable to make it to the uh, championship game of the Big Ten tournament we will be back here in a couple of minutes as we will present the senior day speeches as we always do at the end of the season along with our post game which is Norm right now they're interviewing Khalil Ware down down there on the floor, but Indiana wins it 65 to 64 for Michigan State. We're back in a moment. This is IU Basketball on the Carousel's Radio Network with Learfield. What's your favorite part of the Chop Shop Market and Table on South Walnut and Bloomington? Is it the butcher and seafood counter? Is it the bakery counter or the deli counter where you can get a number of items to go, including soups and sandwiches? Maybe it's our tableside restaurant where you can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. It must be our fully loaded salad bar where you can get a salad or six different soups all for $12.99. There's nothing like the Chop Shop in Bloomington, so come in and check us out. Smithville is a proud sponsor of IU Athletics. That's why we know that protecting your business is like creating a basketball playbook. Choose the perfect starting lineup of security products optimized to fit the needs of your business. Play lockdown defense with access control and intrusion detection and have full court vision with video surveillance. Our smart security lets you monitor, control, and track what goes on in and around your business, all from an easy-to-use app. Visit smithville.com forward slash smart security for more information. What is 988? It's a way forward. It's a listening ear. It's whatever help you need when you need it. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline offers trained crisis specialists ready to talk to you 24-7. If you or someone you love is experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis in their life, call or text 988. Want more information? Visit 988indiana.org. Unraveled Quilt Store in beautiful Spencer is the first choice of quilters and creators in central Indiana for nearly a decade. One of America's top quilt stores, Unraveled features over 3,000 bolts of fabric, plus patterns, sewing supplies, and inspiration, all in a bright and friendly atmosphere. New to sewing? We offer classes. Unraveled Quilt Store, located on Fletcher Avenue in Spencer or online at unraveledquiltstore.com. Folks ask, Salty Pete, what's the best part of being a pirate? Hello? It's all the buried treasure. I've been following this here treasure map all day. Time to dig. Oh, I went through a lesson. No trolley was... Ah! 
Hey, that weird pirate guy just took out a power line. Roll me down. Literally. Contact Indiana 811 at least two working days before picking up a shovel. It's the only way to dig. Learn more at 811.safedigindiana.com. At CareSource, we get you. We get that you're working hard, but you still need to buy your own health insurance. We get that you want big benefits for a small budget. That's why we've made our Marketplace health plans so easy to afford. In fact, four out of five Marketplace customers can get a plan for under 10 bucks per month with financial help. So get great benefits, get a great rate, and know that we'll always have your back. CareSource, we got you. Enroll by January 15th at caresource.com slash marketplace. On the CareSource Radio Network from Learfield, welcome to the CommunityCars.com postgame show. Brought to you by CommunityCars.com. Purchase your vehicle online and have it delivered by using the Express Store. Also brought to you by CareSource. Brought to you by CareSource Affordable Marketplace Health Plans. Lost your Medicaid coverage? We got you. Ford, your Central Indiana Ford dealers are proud sponsors of IU Basketball. Visit your local Central Indiana Ford dealer today. Now, from the Smithville Broadcast Center, once again, Don Fisher. Welcome back once again to Simon Scott Assembly Hall. Thrilling victory here this afternoon for Indiana basketball. The Hoosiers beat Michigan State 65-64. to They even their Big Ten record at 10-10. and They are now 18-13 and overall, as is the Spartans at 18-13 and on the year. And they are 10-10 and in the conference. Indiana wins, of course, the tiebreaker if there's a tie between the two for whatever spots still available as far as seeding is concerned in the Big Ten tournament. We may have more on that a little bit later on. We're waiting for the seniors to come out along with Coach Woodson and the post-game presentations. And while we have that opportunity, HFI is making a difference uh, to, uh, as always, uh, sponsoring our Making a Difference play of the game. So we might as well get right to it, E. Making a Difference play of the game brought to you by Harold Fish Incorporated, locally owned and operated. HFI has been making a difference in homes, facilities, and communities since 1985. Who's your fans? Make sure to call HFI to make a difference with your next project. E, what do you think? Well, Indiana needed a stop. They had a one-point lead. Michigan State had the ball, and Coach Izzo from Michigan State goes to Tyson Walker, who was spectacular here today. 30 points for Walker. You knew the ball was going to him, and Indiana comes away with not only the the forced miss, but the defensive rebound to come away with the one-point win. It's not always about baskets and flashy plays. Sometimes the difference maker is, are you a team that can, you know, Get down in the dirt. Get the stop when you need to get it. And today, that was Indiana. Several times down the stretch, Indiana was able to come up with a big defensive play and rebound to come away with the victory. Well, no question it was big for Indiana. No doubt about that. It keeps the momentum alive for the Big Ten tournament. They have won four straight. And uh, we're going to take another break here, and then we'll come back. We may go to some statistics after we get back until we get the team uh, back out on the floor. And, of course, we'll have senior speeches right after that. So we'll be back. Back with more inside IU, or more, in, more inside IU basketball with Mike Woodson, and he'll be out there, so he's going to be outside. So we'll be back here in just a couple of minutes. We'll be back. This is IU basketball on the Carousel Radio Network from Learfield. Have you been injured at work? Contact Golitko and Daly, the Indiana work injury lawyers at indianaworkers.com. There's nothing easy about work injury cases. At Golitko and Daly, we focus on work-related injury cases and have board-certified and OSHA-trained trial lawyers to help you with your case. Find us at indianaworkers.com. Golitko and Daly, your Indiana work injury lawyers. At Golitko and Daly, we go to work when you can't. Frozen pipes? Flooded basement? For over 41 years, Hayes and Sons has been restoring water damage in Indiana homes and businesses. They'll help you navigate your insurance claim and get your life back on track. So when a water disaster strikes, tell your insurance agent you want Hayes and Sons for your restoration work. Visit HayesandSons.com for more information. 
SPG Roofing and Exteriors is proud to be a partner of IU Athletics. Whether it's a simple repair needed or you're looking into solar solutions for your home, with our combined 50 years of experience in the roofing industry, we can provide you with the quality workmanship you're looking for, along with the respect you deserve. Call us at 317-676-5756 or visit us at spgroof.com so we can get started on your project and schedule a contactless inspection to get an idea of the property and the project. We look forward to hearing from you soon and go Hoosiers! Hoosier fans, don't be a hungry tailgater. Stop by your local Bloomington area Arby's anytime on game day for the crowd-pleasing Hoosier game day special. Four Arby's classic roast beef sandwiches for just 10 bucks. Available every IU football game day, home and away, at any Bloomington, Ellettsville, and Martinsville Arby's locations. Arby's, we have the meats. Supporting our Hoosier since 2019. Welcome back once again to Simon Scott Assembly Hall, Indiana 65, Michigan State 64. The Hoosiers victorious today on Senior Day for this Indiana basketball team. And that group will be coming out back out on the floor, the team and coaching staff here in just a couple of minutes, we would assume. While we're waiting for them to return, we'll take a look at the final statistics presented by Indiana Kitchen Premium Pork Products. Here is John. Well, Don, Indiana outscored Michigan State 34-29. Michigan State goes on that run to outscore Indiana 35-31 in the second half. Hoosiers led by as many as 17. Michigan State by as many as seven. There were four lead changes and three ties. In the first half, Indiana shot 41% from the field, four of 10 from three, and four of seven at the foul line. In the second half, they were 14 of 26 and two of seven from three, one of five from the foul line. So that all adds up to 27 out of 57, which is 47%. Indiana six of 17 from three, which is 35%. Struggled from the foul line, though, 5 of 12, 42%. For Michigan State, they were 37.5% in the first half, 3 of 10 from 3, 2 of 2 at the line, 13 of 33 in the second half, 5 of 15 from 3 in the second half, and 4 of 5 and half 2 from the foul line. All adds up to 25 out of 65 for 39%, 8 of 25 from 3, which is 32%, 6 of 7 from the free throw line, which is 86%. Turnover is a big stat this game, Indiana turned it over 16 times, 9 in the first half, 7 in the second half. Michigan State 10 times, 6 in the first half, 4 in the second half. Michigan State had 17 points off the Indiana turnovers. Indiana had 10 points off of the Michigan State turnovers. Indiana did dominate in the paint, outscoring Michigan State 40-22. to They had 12 second chance points to Michigan State's 9. They had 9 fast break points to Michigan State's 7. Indiana out-rebounded Michigan State 39-33. 27 to 21 on the defensive glass. Both teams had 12 offensive rebounds. 18 assists for Indiana, 15 for Michigan State. Scoring wise for the Hoosiers, eight played and five scored. Khalil Ware had 28 points, 12 rebounds for a double double. He also drew six fouls and had two assists with just one turnover. Mackenzie Mbako, 13 points on five of 13 shooting and three of nine from the field with six rebounds and one assist. Malik Renu, 16 points on six of 14 shooting and five. Five rebounds, five assists, along with two steals. Did have four turnovers, though. Trey Galloway in limited minutes because of the injury. Five points and three rebounds in seven minutes and six seconds. Three points for Xavier Johnson, four assists and four rebounds to round out the Indiana scoring. Gabe Cups, Anthony Walker, and Anthony Leal all played but did not score. For Michigan State, they were led by Tyson Walker, who had 30 points on 11 of 21 shooting. He was four of eight from three, four of four at the foul line, two rebounds, three assists, and three steals. Jade Nakins had 10 points, and so did A.J. Hogard. Akins was four of 12 from the field. Hogard was four of nine. Five rebounds for Akins and four for Hogard, and Hogard also had six assists to just one turnover. Akins had four turnovers to just one assist. And then Malik Hall had seven points, three points for Carson Cooper, and two points for Trey Holloman to round out the Michigan State scoring, Don. Well, there's no question. Uh, Indiana with a huge win here this afternoon. We're still awaiting for the team to return. We're going to keep it here uh, perhaps for a bit longer. Um, 
We do have a couple of commercial breaks to get rid of at the end here, but I'm not going to take a full commercial break right now simply because about the time I do that, they'll be back out on the floor. That said, uh, we will take a short one here, a bonus break. So this is just a 60-second break. We'll be back in a moment. And again, Indiana wins it today, 65-64 for Michigan State as we await the Hoosiers to return to the floor for Senior Day. Back in a moment, this is IU Basketball on the Kerasaurus Radio Network from Learfield. We're back with a report on a big new craze that is sweeping the nation. Boy bands are back in style? No. The win big sweepstakes with Marathon Arco Rewards. Tell me more. Each time you fill up or buy items, you enter to win prizes like a new SUV, free gas for a year, and more. Those prizes are as good as the return of the boy bands. Except they won't leave you for a solo career. Marathon Arco Rewards win big sweepstakes. Sign up today on the Marathon Arco Rewards app online or at any participating station. Marathon. Driven together. Terms and conditions apply. The first official craft beer of Indiana University Athletics is here. Hoosier Game Day Lager is a classically smooth and refreshing beer brewed by Upland Brewing Company right in the heart of Bloomington, Indiana. Brewed with Hoosier pride, every can of this Indiana classic features Indiana's iconic cream and crimson candy stripes. A taste of tradition right in your hands for the perfect addition to game day. You can find Hoosier Game Day Lager at any of Upland's eight family-friendly locations at Indiana Games and everywhere Upland beers are sold. As always, Upland reminds you to drink responsibly. Go Hoosiers! As a red-blooded IU fan, you know when something's homegrown, who's your authentic? That's why you'll love Indiana Kitchen Premium Pork Products. Indiana Kitchen's a real Indiana company that partners with its surrounding family farms to deliver the highest quality, best-tasting pork you can buy. Like Indiana Kitchen Bacon. It's cut a little thicker and smoked over natural hardwood for a hearty Hoosier flavor no other brand can match. One taste and you'll know why more people are saying, my brand is Indiana. Find out more at indianakitchen.com. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're good at insurance, but not just any insurance. We're good at fireworks don't go in the attic insurance, hole in window insurance, even guy that shouldn't have a chainsaw but has a chainsaw insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Once again here at Simon Scott Assembly Hall, Indiana, victorious over Michigan State, 65-64 to on senior day. The uh, team and the uh, players have not come back out on the floor just yet for whatever reason. I think we'll probably see them shortly, but uh, they've taken a little extra time to uh, to make their, uh, they're coming out now. Here come the managers and so on, so we're about ready to go here. I did uh, fall fail to give you the wrap-up on the statistics. The final stats were presented by Indiana Kitchen Premium Pork Products for the most authentic bacon, ham, and fresh pork products. More people are saying, my brand is Indiana. Get to know us at indianakitchen.com. You know what we can do here, John? We can give a, a check at the uh, Coors Light Out of Town School Board. If, in fact, you have anything you want to report here this afternoon, <laughs> and I'll give you, I'm trying to vamp a little bit. There you go. Team is about ready to come back out here, but we're still away from uh, them talking for a few minutes. So go ahead. Uh, check the Out of Town School Board presented by Coors Light. So Big Ten scores from earlier today. Nebraska beat Michigan 85-70. Purdue triumphed over Wisconsin 78-70. Ohio State defeating Rutgers 73-51. 12th thing for Illinois will play Iowa. That game will start in about five minutes at 7 o'clock. The final Big Ten game of the night is Maryland at Penn State, and that will begin at 7.30, Don. And none of those games affect us except for the Iowa game. Is that correct, yeah, Derek? that is yep. correct. If Iowa wins, that would bump Indiana down to the seventh spot in the Big Ten standings. If the Hawkeyes lose, though, Indiana is up at the sixth spot. So it'll matter uh, not only... You know, the timing of the first game that Indiana plays Thursday, but also who their second round or, you know, third round matchup would be, just depending. So it's a big game for Indiana. All right, so the out of town school board is presented by Coors Light, Mound Cold Refreshment, Made to Chill, official beer sponsor of Indiana Athletics. Celebrate responsibly. As more players are coming out now, uh, we've seen the managers. I think CJ Gunn is the first player out. And Malik Renew is trying to get here. He's got people talking to him over there. This time, please join President Kimball with me. And we're going to join in the PA system here momentarily as Malik comes back out on the floor. 
He's getting a big hand from everybody. <laughs> a lot of smiles on this team this afternoon. He. Uh, they've got to feel great. Where they were just a couple weeks ago, to be able to go on this four-game winning streak and move up in the Big Ten standings uh, feels good. Indiana's playing well. Uh, they've got a nice seed in the tournament, and they've got a chance. If they continue to play like this at both ends of the court, they got a chance to, to win some games in the Big Ten tournament. we got the uh, parents coming out now. They're introducing uh, some of the periphery staff here. That Hannah Leonard is uh, one of the young ladies that's being introduced. She's been a part of this basketball program for the last couple of years. Years. And, of course, she is the granddaughter 